stuff like that for these tournaments but would love to see the ryu come through you got that reversal i think that's a really big step one in this game <laughs> if you have mm -hmm. a reversal option you know all these characters that get so much off of driving rush and they get these corner carries are so dangerous so having that reversal is such an important thing in this game but we're gonna get right into it here we got lily versus the marissa we're talking about characters that do not have reversals both of these do not have anything really on defense this is the problem is like for both characters when they're put up in the corner it's definitely difficult you don't really have the options that you do with like an odp or anything like that drive reverse way to debate it we do have things like that system mechanics but that was punished by the side array yeah, we're noticing a lot of players opting to use the uh, meter there, right? That drive meter for the driver versus. So we're seeing a lot more bait and a lot of, especially a lot of these like zoning defensive characters opting to use that meter for the driver. So just give them a bit of space because I mean, the drive rush is so efficient at closing in that gap. I love the jump over this big damage. What's the mix though? This is bad and burnout against this kind of character looking for a drive impact. Even could play around that jump heavy kick too far out for the medium punch follow up. But this is Chip Hilton. One more hit in the Gladius will seal the deal. And by the way, everybody, all the sets tonight are first to three all the way through. Y'all have asked for TNS delivers. Ooh, okay. And that, that's what I'm talking about. TNS always delivering on multiple fronts here. So even in on these online tournaments, man, you're always going to get what you want with TNS. And I mean, TNS always delivering multiple games too, man. I, I love tuning into TNS because every day, every night of the week, I can see some FGC action. 100%. We're going to add even more in store later on as we get more games. Of course, Tech can Follow like my lead. Careful now. Kev PSN coming through with the sub. I see you. Dropping the prime. Y'all can definitely drop the primes. Y'all can also drop in some love that match. You know, as Ray is dropping in, dealing out some damage, I should say. That wasn't even a drop. That was a dumping of love from this fist. Ray oh, yeah. with the first victory. Hit that match, you know, y'all. I can do that ASAP. Support the players, support the tournament, man. I mean, these kinds of events, it, it is community. It is through the grassroots. So if you guys love to see this type of action every week for free, I mean, you can put in a little bit of money to contribute and it goes a long, long way here. It definitely makes these players play harder. I've definitely seen players be like, oh, there's how much in the pot? Then mm. we swing through. Yeah, it definitely gets nasty out here in these TNS streets. Nice cancel, of course, into the command grab, switching up that uh, pressure after they drive rush in. And another one. Oh, my God. Double dining on that dirt. Oh, man. And another perfect setup there. And my goodness, the pressure was relentless. And I mean, still rocking all of the meter, too. Didn't even go in to burnout. See what this next. I mean, Exodus needs some of that defense, man. Right now, Ray is coming through. Ray's real nasty. Yeah, this is one of the problems of fighting this character. She fights against the Street Fighter 6 mechanics so very well. You try to drive the impact. It's just difficult to do because she'll just cut right through and this is meteorite good night the super seal that's perfect and ray looking very dominant in each of these games axel gotta do something different oh yeah this defense is getting torn apart right now especially in burnout man marissa when, when, when you're up against marissa and you're burnt out it's like you're taking so much chip damage this character has so much range and i mean usually in those situations you can usually use drive impact to kind of oh, okay my opponent's gonna go for like this long range poke and you can't do that against marissa you gotta find some other creative ways to get through this character's game Carry definitely helps out. I like that option. I see him still on that bar. And then, as you mentioned before, the drive reversal to back him up a bit. Ray and Burnout. This is when you go in. You got that wind stock. Get in, do that light kick into, you know, either command grab or strike throw mix. Just like that. But I like that walk back here from Ray and again, cutting through the armor. Pick him super. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Oh, man. And I mean, yeah, that's why Marissa, especially in the burnout right there, going to have to use some of that other type of meter to use and go for that level one. Oh, okay, going to get the block on there, but no punish here. Going to get pushed to the corner with the drive rush. Oh, my goodness. Into the command grab. And we've seen that mix up so many times. Ray really cashing out on that. Got to hold north to not go south. Let me see you uh, go up, Exo, so you don't go down. I mean, that's the problematic thing. It's like those command grabs are coming through too often. Wait to face mm. minus eight. You see a fantastic punish. I like that. Drop him down so close. Get the Finally. Oh, he listened. He listened. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You said this. <laughs> I see you. Yo, Alexander with the 15. Thank you so much for the contribution to the pot. Y'all don't stop. Keep running that pot up and keep putting no Matrino codes in. Yeah, it always helps out the event so much, but we'll see if Ray can close this one out 3 0. 
Exodus with the modern Lily not doing too hot here, but okay, we got some new cheer, a little, little bit of footsies, but jumping right on over during the wind charge, going in to the OD and gonna cash out. Is it gonna be enough? No, but the corner, okay, still putting on that pressure. And oh man, Follow you're going empty on that. You're gonna get chipped out surely, but gonna retaliate with the super jump on over, and that's it. That is the conclusion. I like that. Ray not getting grabbed up. He's like, only I can command grab out, He's not you. Player start to show out at the very end, and it's going to be them on the Aki versus a modern Luke. A lot of modern players today, yeah. Modern, I mean, of all the modern characters, modern Luke definitely very, very strong. Having one of the stronger level ones to have access to multiple projectiles, and I mean, just having that on deck can be so strong in so many situations. And I mean, Aki's still fairly new. We saw uh, Justin bring out the Aki at Rewired Fest, was still able to place pretty well here. But I mean, this is definitely a character where you gotta have the setups, right? Oh yeah, this is definitely a setup character for days. Neutral's okay, like I said, medium punch is not that bad. So the other, like the heavy kick, drive rush, heavy kick, report heavy kick is pretty good. But what does it matter when you get hit with the drive impact up in the corner? And this is bad there, burnout. Gets a throw right after they got the bar back, but reversals, not so much for this character. You have that snake slithering on in. Does find the jump fierce though. Yeah, it is going, I, I wouldn't call it a reversal exactly. Obviously it doesn't have any kind of hitbox or anything and you can grab it as well. So you're right. gonna have a little bit of weakness, but it can kind of get you out of the corner if you feel like your opponent is gonna swing. But look at this, the impact, this is gonna be it. And oh, so close and you really wanted to go for that in the corner, but Luke just ready for it. Yeah, too steady with it. I like that. Here we go. Better round start with that drive rush couch with a kick. Now getting the knockdown, send heavy kick. It has some of that poison applied. She already dumps out a quite a bit of damage, especially when he has these extensions when the poison's staining up the shirt. However, the back throw. Dixie. Oh, we out. And there's that swing. Okay, you, you read the swing. You're gonna get the side switch here, but back into the corner. But you, this your turn. You're gonna get some corner pressure here in a sense of just gonna be able to push away and just like that. I could gonna put one on the board here for the round. Didn't have to spin the bar at the bottom either. That level three wasn't even necessary. Drive rushing with the crouching medium kick to start the party off. And again, apply that poison. I like that drive rush in for the overhead. Yes, sir. -y. Yeah, and there's in burnout, but not that bad. They can go to level three or they might just hold into the bar. They actually go for the expenditure right here. Be a that good lead. amount of damage. Okay, and you still got this corner situation. You don't really have too much drive meter, but the whole time you just get some time ticking here off this burnout. I like that. I like Light Lash. Oh no, in the OD. DP right after. Missing some of the normals, but you're not missing the rising upper right there as an anti-air. Impact, but we react. Yeah, fast. Right back, getting that bar back. The drive gauge all juiced up. The drive gauge came back right as the drive impact was finishing on the side of Luke. That was very unfortunate timing, but you just got to be that precise to know exactly when your opponent is going to get that drive meter back available to them. Yeah, sometimes it's better just to play around the idea of going for the drive impact, especially right. when it's that close. But Miss kind of uh, mistimed it now. Again, the setups, I like those knockdown situations. We go for like the uh, tempto setups, baiting out DPs and things like that. You're definitely right about this character being setup city. But the anti are difficult to do. Stand heavy kick or uh, I think the heavy lash are kind of the most applicable answers or air to airs, I guess, but it is hard to time those. Yeah, Aki is one of those content characters, you know what I mean? You're gonna have so many different YouTube videos on all the different Aki setups. So all the lab rats are gonna love it. Uh-huh. Put on the streets, so something different with it. Applies the poison. There's the anti right there. Perfectly spaced with this place. Get that extension, because you already had the poison on him. Okay, going into the OD, there's the reversal here. It's one chance, but looks like the gap. Oh no, it doesn't get through. Yeah, that's uh, not one of the best supers in the business. Yeah. And I see people say just try to DI, but it is hard when they might maybe rear back a little bit and go for a cancel. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. But I do like the idea for the super, but if that was a different character there, he uh, worked out. Drive rush, light punch, starter. That's a really good drive rush button. I call that the uh, the Men RD special because he uses that continuously. It's such a good little extra reach that you don't uh, expect from the sign of loop. However, come up in the corner, Bass is cooking. And I love the usage from Bask with the Slither, right? I mean, we've seen so many just corner switch scenarios and that pool, the poison pool on the ground is so strong because even if you are blocking on that poison pool, you're still going to get lit up by that poison here. And Bask doing an incredible job. Going to bait that. It looks like the block came through. And what's the punish here? Should be enough. Yep. Going to come through with the swan dive there. I like that. Poisonous the swans right here. Toxic swan. Bask.
on game point. Oh, yes, and fast. Yeah, I mean, up 2-0 here. Uh, against a character like Luke, and I mean, when you think about the archetype of this character, you think you would probably give this matchup to Luke. Obviously, it's still fairly early. We don't know too much about Follow Aki, but a lot of these setup characters can be susceptible to these rushdown characters, right? Yes, sir. Thank you for the sub, Sam. See you. We'll be, uh, I'll see you soon at the, one of these events real soon, brother. But right now, I'm seeing uh, Vass kind of just back off a little bit as a player applied. Back to the anti air right there. Gets extension because of explosion and that level one. Ooh, and the level one gonna apply the poison to get a good amount of distance, which, you know, Aki is gonna really like that. And of course, with the drive impact being fairly safe here, there was a little bit of meter. And I mean, that's the best thing about having modern, right? When when you're burnt out, you're gonna have that one button super here, but not gonna be able to do it on reaction. That's looking like all the pressure on point here. It's just one solid hit. That right lash is a really good way, but the call with the jump and that jump heavy kick, damn near like a dive kick. You know, the reach on that is insane. Same with the jump fierce. It's already hard enough for the anti in some areas, but on the ground, Vask is staying solid. They're on set point. Vask looking really strong this round here. Did have to use just that one, the level one in the beginning, but that's not too much resources. You're already gonna have one meter built up on the super gauge. Okay, we're gonna go for the extension all the way to the left side. I like it. Okay. My last cancel the command grab. Oh, you so nasty again. Sticking in that grip. Drop crushing medium kick. Well, do we have oh, another yeah, command grip reset? Oh, that was dirty. Yeah, and, I mean, from that slither, you can go into a bunch of different options. The EX Slither giving you that. Now when it comes to Drive Rush, bro. We're going to see a lot of Drive Rush when it comes to like the Ken Masters going up against him. I saw Angry Bird talking about this matchup. He's like, what you need in this match is Drive Rush Light Punch. And I want to see that happen for more Ken players. It's hard. We have to establish that neutral and start the party off. Yeah, Dalton definitely one of the uh, more unique characters, like pretty floaty in a sense. And you can just float in the air, the teleport, very unique type of zoner. De definitely very different from JP, right? Mm -hmm. I think that he has like less damage. His control, it, it feels like after every knockdown, the Oki kind of stops, or there's not really Oki as after, you know, was kind of uh, putting it out, but he still has that full screen control with these long limbs on the side of wide right there, as you see on the screen. Yeah, even similar in a way with uh, Aki, where you can kind of use a, a move like teleport to side switch your opponent out of the corner. Is also a character where you might find yourself in the corner a little bit too often because you don't got that reversal. Okay, not going to convert off the, uh, the OD though. Yeah, that would have been any of the kill right there. The jab will. And I just realized Liquid versus Snake. This is godlike. I feel did this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Oh, man, the lore is real, man. Mm -hmm. Look what actually Ooh, okay. victory would be the inferior brother. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the side switch. I like that. Okay, coming through. Drive rush. All plus on block here. Ooh, okay. And retaliate with that. I love the side switch. Just the grab, too. All right. Grip with it. Careful of the arc. With arc fireball. Yeah, I like that. Drive rush anti right there. You can see a lot more sim players look for your, like antis with drive rush with like yoga uppercut. Back heavy punch, too, as well. So heavy kick. It's almost it. Tails doing a fantastic job until oh, nothing up that jab. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Ooh, three's almost out of liquid. That teleport was so nice. Barely got him out there. And yeah, you still got to do this one more hit. And it's crazy because if if Snake was able to get one hit and then just like pretty much one mix after the hit, that could have been it. So that, that game looked a lot closer, even if you looked at the health boys. Oh, 100%. Ken is always in the game because he has these side switches uh, moments. He also has the ability to Take you to the corner expeditiously. And of course, the damage that's dumped up by level three. Stand heavy kick, clipping the character, but nothing in terms of fault, like no sweep for a knockdown. Surprised. Okay, again, the teleport side switch. When you feel like you get Sim in the corner, that's always going to be an option you gotta watch out for here. Like the carry on get up. Yep. Just, ooh, give me all that meter. Exactly. Keep that bar as healthy as possible. This character is a bear and a burnout. You do not want to be in burnout against like the Sim. Let's get in. Let's try to jump in. Find Stan Fierce and whip. You got hit with that jump Fierce. No right. far spin. I'm surprised. Nothing for like a super, maybe level one. Maybe he wants to keep it to level three, but drive rush. Fierce is all he needs to skate underneath that fireball. All right. We're saving it for next round, man. We're saving it for next oh. round. Oh, okay. Put in the doggy bag. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. Mm hmm. 
We got the punish counter on that too. Nice. That mix is so strong, yeah, just setting up that high fireball and then coming through with that drive rush. And I mean, just because Sim's a zoner, Sim is also going to have those offensive setups, right? If, especially if able to set up those fireballs. Yeah, well, you know, behind the fireballs is like the limbs. Like, the fireball's going to set up for like the limbs to work out. And for these things like this, the side switch, teleport, the throw, the okie doke, and when the Bartman Baileys. Circus act right now. Circus character. Oh, there's the OD, and yeah, the sweeping through after the OD fireball coming in with the driver. She's in three meter on that, but it is completely worth to close out the round here for Sim. Wondering if uh, Snake can figure out some ways to, I know this sounds kind of scrubby, but hit that drive impact into these limbs. Let me sequence this, catch a, catch a limb out. Oh, but this is a good way to play. Hits him with the Dragon Lash. It's a knockdown, but it doesn't matter. Snake getting super aggressive. That's the way you need to play, I feel like, with this character. Get that lead against Shotos especially and force them to come to you. Yeah, I feel like Snake is trying to throw some of these fireballs out against these limbs, and yeah, there is the drive reversal. And I mean, drive impact is a very strong move in general against him, right? I mean, we talked about long range folks. Sam doesn't have too many normals that he can cancel in, just, just cancel in general. So drive impact is a very, very effective tool against him in certain ranges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, medium punch, checking the challenge before you can even get in, trying to drive rush. Maybe slide. Hold on now, walk up throw, and this is Ken Masters. He's got that bar at the bottom. Drive rush throw. They see him use that level three. Ooh, backing out. Oh, almost hitting the light there on the teleport. Coming in with the air toxic, but it's not gonna be enough. Oh, get level three. Is it an oh was able to get the block. I like at least he fought back though. Yeah, yeah. He fought back. He tried, he tried. He died with that bar used for absolutely nothing, which is good. But this is bad. Liquid is on game point. Snake, gotta do something different. Yeah, like like you said, the, the drive impact could be really, really strong and effective, okay, especially against long range posts. Oh man, just barely out of range, going for the parry here. It just seems like Sim is always the one that's keeping the pressure on. It's like for Snake, just not really finding any type of openings to really keep it his turn. I keep hearing like fireballs and like driver slide punch are like good establishers and like like there's really good. So you can put out a fireball. Got clocked though. Okay, there we go. Run, cancel, dragon lash. Ends it with the enhanced house for the next one. What a back dash. Good defense. Yeah, and that back dash. What a crazy reward to getting that back throw into the corner here. But Ken, I don't care where we're at, what side of the stage almost gets the corner carry here. The driving back to establish some space, but man, that was a huge drop there coming out from Snake. Snake, this is bad. You're in burnout. And again, this character with the long limbs of Sim can end you with the quickness. Backs up for the anti right there. The yoga uppercut. And that's a downer. Snake getting clocked. And this is liquid on set point. Yeah, and I mean, th this is the thing about Sim. It, uh, Sim's just not too popular of a character. Maybe Snake not having the most uh, matchup experience against this character, right? Knowing when and where the teleports are going to be very, very just offensive. And it, 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 it can be really tough. It is really hard, man. There's not a lot of good sim players that are out there because not a lot of people play this character. I level looking at like Zapparino, and then that's like a Slice over in Canada. So your experience of like high level sim is very, very low. But you're getting it right now, though. OD waited and baited. Oh, easy bait of it. Time to eat him up with that double, double, no level three. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, spin the bar. Spin the bar. Nah, nah. Liquid says, I, I don't need that bar. I got Nooch. He said, Nooch, I don't even need the bar. I got Nooch. Nooch is enough. Nooch is That's enough. Nooch, That's man. with the likes of Boo, who is a kid player. But Blue Laser did some work in a Canadian CPT War Warrior. They'll be showing up okay. this character. Yeah, I mean, Lily, definitely uh, another character that not too much representation, especially in the really higher top level of bracket, right? I mean, just a character that can struggle in the meta currently, but we'll see what this character can do here. Oh, man, and Ken just getting a bit, and already in the corner as well. Yeah, right into short. You can hear great damage here into the corner against Ken. This is uh, probably one of the worst nightmares of Street Fighter 6, <laughs> being in the I mean, corner the, against the, Ken. Oh, yeah, the guy's name is Boo. Like, <laughs> you know what to do. This dude is definitely going to be... Uh... Spooky up in the corner. Nice mini fireball crouch to kick into the drive impact to make it a wrap. Blue man though with the first victory, but blue blazer not out of it just yet. I've been seeing this character develop from like the likes of well blue and also Habiki the Beast. He won a huge tournament in Japan that had like a ton of killers. So Ooh, this character, okay. like any character in Street Fighter 6 can work. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know the, a lot of the characters with no reversals, like a lot of players or just the community in general might have a little doubt, you know, Lily, Manon and stuff like that. But there's still a lot of great representation of these characters. I definitely want to see what they can do. And like you said, maybe just has to figure out a little bit more defensive things, right? Like right now, the, the meta, a lot of offense, but we still haven't really figured out the defense of this game. Yeah, yeah. See, things like that parry, you get like an OD punish, you can stock up, but however, it don't matter. You're going down. Look at that bar at the bottom. Almost up to the level three. Get the gen ride. Did not get that follow up. One more hit. Backs up for the DP. Nice and easy and breezy. Swatting this little goblin outside the skies. Yeah. Air or no air, it don't matter, man. Sure, you're still going to do that damage. Right now, Boo making a great run here. Already up a game here. Oh, Quarant, nice tech. Okay, back to the neutral, though. the fireball. I like this. You kind of use a little bit of dominance with the fireball, so like poke, but JC Blue taking the skies and finding a punish. Can't be too predictable with it. Oh, yeah, and the hydrogen right into the drive rush there. Great setup, and you're going to go into the corner here. Oh, not going to finish the gen ride. Just going to go for the lights on the wake up there. Not enough for the KO, but of course, the round will be taken with the throw. Ooh, Mano, just dominant everyone on the screen. We've seen him in the corner previous game and now mid-screen. However, the fireballs are getting depleted and deleted right there. Nice interruption with the crouching light punch starter. Ends it with the spire, puts him in the corner, crouching light kick starter. And again, this is bad. Like that stand medium is a stop sign. Oh, you're not Ooh. fine. This is burnout. It's a command grab. Yeah, this is where uh, Lily can really thrive. I mean, that mid-range, you got so much. I mean, her normals just are so large, right? And then you can go into that strike throw, but... Sometimes some characters like Ken with really good drivers just kind of skip out from the long to the close range, really skip out on that mid range. Blue doing a really good job of trying to keep the game at as mid range as possible. Exactly. And he puts him in the corner, it's getting pretty dangerous. Let me see the ODDP, the reversal finally coming from Blue Mano to back him up a bit, trying to clean some space with the fireballs. Trying to get a jump in. Careful, he's got a good anti or crouch fear. This is a really good anti to check him outside the skies. Punish, okay. yeah. Oh man, knock knock from the drive rush. Oh, not gonna be enough. Gets the perfect parry, but not just too far out of range for the punish there. But Blue definitely getting the position in the corner. This is really normal damage. damage. Mm. Damn it, man, grab. I got the reversal on deck, even on the strike throw. What's up? I like that bust out. Feeling a certain sort of, sort of way after. Those command grabs, I would too. Burnout trying to call it a normal stocks up <laughs> in front of his face. Wow. And I like that too. I, I, just the, the timing and then going in to the twirl there, just enough for the burnout. Now, Blue does have a bunch of meter here. Gonna spend a lot of it and go in to the level two there. Nice. Okay. Not enough though. Oh, okay. Chip. Yeah, Who? Just did it. The OD. So, no, no, no. You ain't got no health. I'm going to take the rest. You got a little bit on your plate. Let me get the, the crumbs. The little bit. That, that was such a crazy round because Blue got all the drive meter back and was like, I am instantly spending everything because Ken was just in burnout, right? So you really want to take advantage of that situation. I love the whole clip. Ooh. Okay. We got some loops. And it ain't throw loops. Mm-hmm. The Jin Rai, even nasty, even more potent. Try to get that drive impact against a button. Yeah, we see Blue trying to challenge with stand medium punch. That's why you see the drive impact just in general. The fireball was the way to play. Blue Mano up a game and a round so far. Man, look at that range. That, I mean, that, that's the one justification for Lily, right? Obviously having a lot of great strike throw off the twirl in, but also having that great midders. Ooh, okay, perfect parry here, but yeah, not able to get much off it. We've seen some of these mid-range perfect parries, but Blue not able to capitalize off of them. Yeah, maybe the stuff of your button's not working out. I don't know if crouching medium kick would work or otherwise, but still, I like them at least keeping their bar and putting some defense on the deck so you can't just run those generalized continuously. At least taking back a turn. Oh, punish counter. Yeah, heavy kick. Yeah, and after that punish counter, you can go straight into the drive rush, and that's when it's that's when the spending's good, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, we got the reactions, though. I'm burnt out, but I still got meter. You got to respect it. Mm -hmm, no gaps. Drive rush, crouch fierce. Oh my god, Bull Mano! Bull Mano! Since spooky season! <laughs> it's October. It's my time. Oh my god. That was god like drive rush, crouch fierce. You see that from Gal players usually? He did drive yeah, yeah. rush, crouch fierce, find a fantastic punish. And Bull Mano! I'm the man, bro. Okay, not going in to the uh 
command dash Tatsu there. But still gonna get a lot of distance here. Okay, I like the parry, but the anti-air in blue trying to find out of the corner. Okay, gets the command grab, gets a little bit of space, driver towards some offense, but no, I got the reversal on deck and I got the meter on. Yeah, this is dangerous golf in the corner. Stand fierce on oh, fireball, no run DP. Nice interruption. The dash up light light. Beautiful anti right there. Gets the space up this place, stocks up, but it's all a bait the entire time. You're not finding the Ooh, man already with that DP. Calling out that entire option, anti fireball option. Yeah, I feel like Blue barely missing it by just a tad bit, but maybe just a bait, like you said, all along here. Blue, just one round away. Okay, great parry here, and that's going to get some meter, and you're going to get a corner carry, and look at all this damage here for Blue. Oh, but again, the reversal on deck here. Everyone running a little low. Here's the burnout on the side of Blue, but can kind of make get the burnout on Boo. Yeah, I want to see that happen, but it's hard here. You know, Boo does have super to worry about. Like into anything more, just wants to get some wind stocks up or takes him down to the ground. Staving off set point, Blue Blazer is still staying strong, but for how long? Yeah, I mean, Super Meter looking pretty close. Three to two here. Let's see who's going to get this first opening. I mean, so important in Street Fighter 6 because whoever gets that first opening, he just gets that first corner carry, and that's such a great situation for any character in Street Fighter. And Blue looking pretty low on this drive gauge. Going to interrupt, burn out here, but going to get some wind charge. Going to get this corner. Oh, no, but go, twirls into the corner. Oh, careful now. These fireballs try to fake out something. Francis Stan Fears. No follow-up, though. Still finds the overhead. No level three just yet. Oh, oh the side switch. Okay, good damage here with the level one. The cash out still want to save some of that meter. Yeah, because you are burnt out. Oh, the anti-air from the other side, though. Blue keeping this corner pressure on still. Oh, the reversal, though. How many times is Blue going to do that? He said, bro, I'm not trying to hold no pressure. Though did not get the command grab. Blue Blazer did not get the crypto. They want another oh. burnout. Oh, man. It is like one solid hit from either side. Will Blue Blazer stay in? Oh, finds the anti-air. Oh, God. Try to get the command grab. Too far out, though. Scrapping his demons. Okay, but look at the drive meter on the side of Boo. Ken can do so much with this. Blue just waiting a little bit more time, but it's not enough. The drive gauge came back, but at the same time, Boo came through, snatching him up. Three to one here. So, I mean, great stuff going for that drive gauge getting the last and final grab because that was so, so close. I could have gone to a game five. I, I definitely want to see a game five, though. We we've seen a lot of three O's, a lot of three ones, but I'm, I'm trying to see a game five. It may happen here, or it's going to be a blowout. This is Young Team Matt, who has uh, been in the scene for only a little bit, but has been doing a lot of work. Some do work at um, one of the offline majors and things like that. Online, he's been cooking some of your favorite cats. This is Narret, though, from the Canadian scene, or rather, I should say, I guess it's Toronto, I feel like. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. He's Midwest. My bad. I'm sorry, Nara. You might, you're one of my people because you were in the uh, mid-best tournament. I'm mixing up tournaments, but I know that this cat has a fantastic sim. Ooh, nice, nice. And I know Midwest and Canada are pretty close with each other, too. You know what I mean? Like those are oh, almost yeah, like yeah, it's, it's close enough. Teams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they all play in uh, Digital Havoc, so we mix them exactly. up. And I've also mixed up a lot of tournaments. I've been doing too much. Anyway, Nara. Fantastic sim, but Young Team Matt is able to get in. And this is what you want to see in this matchup. Driver Stan Fierce, Fireball. Once you get in, you really harass this character. Oh, yeah, that Ken Stan Fierce. Mm, that, that's the one. You, you, you want to knock on the door. You want to knock on the block with that. Yeah, open up. Young Matt is home. Ooh. Runs the DP level three. Man. Matt spending it. I got those. I got those on deck. Ready to roll. Game number one. Young Matt coming through. Real quick, real quick. I like that. He got his mom's allowance. He's like, okay, I'm spending right now. Got the fifteen dollars. Going right to the candy shop. <laughs> Yo, young Matt saw the the Matcherino. He's like, yeah, hold up. The Matcherino on deck, man. I'm, That's I'm a, a lot of money. Clean. Yo, to a, to a to a kid, to a teenager, whatever mm. money is in there is like triple our money. I ain't gotta worry about taxes, nothing. He's not worried about a damn thing up this corner. He's like, pressure. Oh, driver works though. Back him up. Okay, gonna try and get a little bit of space. Oh, and the fireball bounce it backwards. Still not enough. Young Matt still has so much up to work with. Yeah, it just feels like he gets such a big lead that it's hard for Nard to bring it back on the brink. Yeah, I like this better here for Nard. Get a better lead round start and force him to come to him to get the victory. Make him make mistakes. Fireballs will definitely help set the approach. This could be a punish. They'll go for the Chicago punch, the back throw. A positional advantage is A-OK -okay for Lexus Sim. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Especially when you're able to float around those fireballs as well. You're playing pound for pound with fireballs. What Sim wants all day, but that driver of standing fears, he talked about it. Good. Ooh, the punish counter. Yep, gonna be able to convert into that. Ooh, all the way. Oh no, get the side switch on the Tatsu there from the command dash. Ooh, not gonna be able to convert though. Still gets the throw. Nice little setup right there. Trying to get back to stand fears. We got clip in. Hit the super to spin that last bit of bar because the stamina kick wasn't enough to do it. And now Narth goes to the next round going down with damn near on the verge of level three. Young T Matt though has level three on his side of things. Ooh, I like that the air fireball right into the teleport here, just staying and keeping that position. Narth definitely gonna need that as the sim coming through here. Get underneath, but it's not gonna be enough. Young Matt find the opening. Oh, the punish counter. Oh, it does not convert though. That neutral jump against that dive kick. I see it, but it's not working out in art. That's some of these sharp angles. It's not working out. Stand fierce side switch, though. Dive kick to clip the crouching mini kick, and now we hit the double gumble. No, the old guy. A lot of damage. Mm, yep, yep. A lot of damage here. Gonna burn a lot of that gauge, and yeah, so much gauge is gonna go into burnout here, and you do not want to be in burnout because there's so little health Young Matt to work with. So try to get the jump through. Narth knows exactly what Young Matt wanted. Yeah, he's been really good about like, calling out like crouching unit kick with like, dive kicks and stuff. And young Matt has not really found an answer for that just yet. We'll see what happens as this match goes on. Yoga are saving the day. Finds a knockdown off the flame. Back to the screen. Okay, closing that gap. Oh, and I like that the jump to catch the grab there. And of course, with the dive kick, you can instantly just cut your momentum and get that punish counter on some of those grabs. Mm -hmm. Fireball. It's looking worse and worse for young team Maddox. He's not got a grip. You know, after the round starts, loss for him. It feels like he's not able to get that man to find a way in consistently enough. Driver stand fierce is stuffed by these normal stand fierce medium from the side of Sim. He needs the side apply. Look at that. The dive kick again. Flip across the kick. It feels like all the options the young team that are taken off the table. Yeah, Nar, the, the dive kick coming out from Nar really feels like the game changer. And I'm going to go ahead and go for that level two. Of course, the level one not going to provide too much defense for Sim. So you got to burn two. Which why another reason why this character, I mean, when it comes to defense, not the best, but you know, if you gotta spend for it, it's gonna be worth it. Ooh, okay, speaking of spending though, the level one here, just close the gap. Gotta get some offense going, but it's still not enough. Just pound for pound, Narath just having too much of a great round start. And I like that he goes for that jab. He has enough help for that transaction, so why not take the trade, take him down, young Matt, get back, bro. It's it's not done. <laughs> it's not it's over. First three is first to three. What do y'all mean? Get, get back in the game. You still have more to, to play. Like, come on, yeah. Yeah, we're not we done. Go. This is for there you. We go. And the people watching, War Street you Fighter 6. You can't <laughs> give up, not yet. Young Matt not gonna let Narath get away with that. We'll see if we can get a game five situation here. We haven't seen a game five all night, so if we wanna see that, I mean, obviously the tournament just started, but we've seen a lot of three O's. Got like one, three, one. I'm, I'm trying to see a five. Five. Mm -hmm. Definitely trying to see. Let's go to the limit. That's with most games. I like that Jen Ryan. And we put him in the corner. However, this is bad. You're a burnout. I guess like they're in a burnout. Or one of them at least. And that yoga flame definitely chips away at that health. Yeah, caught the throw tag. Sweep off the feet here from young team Matt. Try to get a neutral drop. He does light punch. Punish counter. Enhanced Tatsu follow. Jump fierce. Oh, he's found Ooh. the less button to delete this dive kick off the deck. All the hits connect. Run DP. Young team Matt. And I love the neutral jump to get up and over the jump dive kick coming out from the Wrath. And I mean, neutral jump definitely a option that I think is very underrated. We're seeing a lot of players starting to utilize that neutral jump a lot more nowadays. Especially with jump fierce, it's one of the best in the business in this game. So yeah. I like him go for that option. Let me make the uh, Wrath think how he comes through from the neutral. And young Matt willing to go and burn out just to uh, get in as much as possible or take him to the corner, I should say. But burnout is not the play against his character. He just chips away. And there's the anti right there. Chipping away again with the yoga flame on the way down. And Matt staying close though, but okay, finally getting access to that drag wave. Not gonna take too much chip. And you're gonna have that drive rush available, especially into the drive cancel. Are you gonna spend it all to keep this scenario going? All right. Young Matt keeping faith on the offense here. Another grab. Okay. Oh, but there's the punish counter with the dive kick. And if you're gonna spend it, yep, Narath is gonna get the round. And put themselves on set point. Again, that dive kick clipping the crouch and keep continuously. It's been really nasty. Drive reversal, you see that more often from sim players not having the best defense in the business, as we pointed out. Enhanced yeah. Atsu, Oki. Did he block the Sob Sara? Level three <laughs> right back at him. You are so smart. Young Teen Matt. 
hit him with that cinematic sequence, so you have to deal with that Sansara. Yo, if you're in the cinematic, you can't get hit. That's the cinematic That's immunity. <laughs> oh. Perfect! Man, I guess three is greater than two, huh? Mm-hmm, it really is. Boy, Boomer Translator, hold on now. I am a Boomer. Finger, you understand I'm 35, right? I'm old. Come on, man. You, you already know, man. Commentators are boomers. Team Boomer, baby. Mm -hmm. We're definitely boomers out here. <laughs> Young team has a Zoomer. He's like the, of the TikTok age, and that's why he plays so fast. But he is playing compact right now, and I like that. Stay close to his character. Ooh, man, they're going empty on the drive gauge there, and Naras still having one uh, enough for another drive reversal, so he's going to be a little safe here. Great anti-airs are just chipping away, and I love the side switch to slide on through. Burnout is bad. Oh, start rushing in. Did that even combo? I think he just did that raw. <laughs> Red Team Matt just thought, like. I'm getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a jump out or something, but nonetheless, I need the round going here. And we finally got our game five situation. Narath able to take the first round here. We'll see if young Matt can go ahead and turn this one around. A lot of drive gauge being used and the burnout coming out from Narath. Going to use the level two for the defense. I think it's going to catch the jump. Great stuff here. And going to try to get the side switch with the teleport, but it's not long enough. Meaty, interrupts the drive rush, trying to get that drive impact. Young, Matt trying to rotate all these options, but Nara too ready with the two study with that sniper stand medium punch. Nara came for more months. It's only been a couple of months. It feels like a lot longer because a lot of us play this for hours upon hours, but it's only been a couple of months. So players get better and better about that, I'm sure, as we move on. We're moving on to some Kimberly. Cycle's one of the best in the business, I feel like, out in the US. I feel like he might be, along with Shine, the top level Kim players, the shine count, because he's playing shine, I don't know. Either way. It's hard, man. I, I know this character. There was a, a lot of hype around this character, especially in the beta, when the, the good old days with the reversal. But I think this is another character where just another like lab rat kind of character. You're going to have a lot of different setups. And you know, you're not going to have the reversal available to you. So it really comes down to can you win those first couple neutral interactions and then kind of force your opponent not to play the game with these spray can setups, right? 100%. I'm in the corner too as well. It's hard to deal with when you don't have that defense. Marisa dying to the throws and lows. And uh, guess what this character has up in the corner? Throw Loop City and also has that spray candle land too. So, Lazy Grum has got to be careful about that. But now has them caught up in the corner. And hey, Kim don't have no reversal, so eat this command grab. Punish counter. Extra damage. Ooh, okay. Man, yeah. That's a good point. Both these characters, no reversal. So whoever gets their offense started first is going to be of a huge advantage here. But here comes Kim. Coming through here, just gonna back off, not go. Ooh, okay, I like the gra grab there. Okay, gonna extend, yep. No setup though. Shout Yo, shout out to Ghost coming through with the raid. I see you. Thank you for dropping Ooh. off that party. A 25. Welcome to TNS. We are only getting started. Cycles is only getting going and going with that level three. Mix it. We got the we got the graffiti on deck too. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, that buff does carry over to the next round, but Zyko's not even needing that. He's gonna go on to the next game here. Game number two. Why is Zyko's in the chat? Bro, get out and play the game. Dang. He really came Dang. in and said, damn, I'm good. In the chat. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's, okay, now, yeah, see, lazy boredom starting to wake up. Now you're done, you done pissed off the beast. Yeah, start yeah, getting. Come on, man. Lock in, yeah. bro. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You definitely got to lock in first uh, versus Marissa because Marissa catches you lacking one time, and that could be everything. Ooh, okay. Catch the jump there, it looked like. And just like that, Lazy Boredom getting on the map with this first round of games. Oh, uh, I see he was talking too much. That's why the size we throw with the crowd's views. Puts him in the corner, closer, closer, of course. Drops him down, you stay heavy kick, hella plus, so it's one of our best buttons to use up in the corner to harass with. Nice jump, jab to knock him down, though. He's important, working the way outside the corner. I lied, drive reversal applied. Ooh, and I like that. Using the driver reversal again, these characters that lack that reversal potential, right? So you won't even let them get into the knockdown. I'm just going to spend that meter, get you off me, get that space, get that contention, and then set up the spray can after. I love the, I love that from Cycles there. 
I mean, the objective is to put him in the corner as much as possible. You only have damage this screen, but like in the corner, at least hit him up with them setups continuously. Oh, caught him pressing something. Cycles, a little bit too focused on the chat, my guy. Careful that level three does drop the elbows on him. It hits that level three of his own. And as you pointed out, this moves to the next round with extra speed and power. Can kind of keep him loose. Maybe not all the way, but can at least put some damage mid screen more than they had previously. Yeah, Kimberly is going to be jamming for the next couple of rounds here with that buff. Oh, but the opening going to Lazy Borum, even with the buff applied, don't even matter. The corner carry all the way to the left side here. Ooh, getting the command grab as well. Mm. It's like you say, just let it sim. Okay. But this does not look like you are. Uh, I think it might be over. I think it might be burned. I think it, it might be uh, overdone. I think this. This is so well done, it's congratulations. Oh my God, that could have been it from Lazy Fordham. He had the level three, but no conversion. Ooh, okay, oh. I like that. Up and over here. All the way to the right. Oh, knocked on the side switch here. Okay, keeping it going. Oh, baby, if you had a little bit more time. But dang, man. Might have to take it off the oven, Zykles. What's up, Zykles? Take it off the oven. Yeah, get them. <laughs> Simmer too long, man. Get the man. out, bro. <laughs> that steak's looking a little too well done, man. How much ketchup I got to put on that steak, bro? Ketchup? How much ketchup I got to put on that, man? Oh, oh my god, god. Charles. Man. Yeah, 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 steak sauce. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, redeem yourself. Man, say ketchup. Oh, god. We'll talk about that one later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I overcooked. Hold up. <laughs> I, I'm in there with Zyklos right now. <laughs> Get in the chat. You're both up in the corner. And then Magda busts to drop him down to the ground. Here we go. Jump heavy kick. Cancels off the stand heavy kick. Before that, I should say. OD and play. Magna Buster again. Looping oh, this no. dog. Oh, no. Okay, there's a perfect parry. Okay. Punish counter coming through. I mean, obviously going to be a very, very low scale. And when you get that perfect parry, automatically scales down to 50% here. But you got to get the positioning. And that position is so important for Kimberly, that corner. It's where she's going to get it. mainly all that damage output. Oh, tries to get the side switch, but not going to come through. Still going to get some damage, though. Going to have to use some meter. Get the corner carry. Empty Tatsu to catch the Ooh. throw tag. Did not find the follow-up, but still the crouching line punch will connect. Bang. Okay. That was nasty. Okay. Zykles. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. It's all back right. to medium rare. we we'll back yeah. to medium rare. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 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 wake up super yeah. oh. You can't press the button here. I'll spend it. I'm not afraid. I like that. Driver of Stamp here is definitely a starter for Marisa players. That's one way to stop that from coming through. Did <laughs> he get the super? Oh, no. no. Dang, three bars whipping. That's got to hurt, man. Those stand heavy kicks continuously. Those icons is partying right now. But you can't against the likes of Maurice. You've got to stay solid, careful. You just put him in burnout. Does hit him with the super all day, every day. Okay. Again, because of the scaling, it. But of course, the mix for game cycles. Getting game number three. But you got to do one more. It's first to three. Don't forget. Though I, I better not see him in the chat, yo. It's first to three. Don't forget. He said cooking. <laughs> <laughs> for how long though? Hold on now. You gotta sit up the, let's see if the customers like it. Let's see if uh, it's accepted. Oh yeah, we gotta wait for the customer review, man. Mm -hmm. Gordon Ramsay. Ooh, okay, oh, all the way to the right though? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a lot of... What? Tatsu as an anti, nah, Zykles. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but do you got the defense? Oh, we're spending, we're going to burnout. Is it worth though? Is it worth, that's always the big question. Is it worth? Oh, it's gonna whiff though. There's gonna be a lot of chip here. Mers is so good at doing this chip damage, especially at this mid range here. He was Sagar looking for like a super to punish, but so like, let's get some knockdown. That Tatsu again did not work out. He is gaming. Tatsu again, we hold the parry, so got clip. One more hit, the air to air right there. Drop him down. You just need one more hit, but you're in burnout. Still got a couple meters, a couple bar meter here. Okay, not even gonna use it, just gonna slide on through cycles. Going for the three, one here, one round away, immediately going for that driver's grab. Back to back though. Okay, now finds an OD play, coming against the wall. 
into the Vagabond, into level three. There is never a bad time to go into level three, in my opinion. You get that buff, get that access to extra speed, you put him in the corner, it gets real nasty. And already you have this big lead right here. Our reversal to keep him up, offensive style, stay up in the corner a while, waited, stand fierce, deliberated, and now deleted. Cycles. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. We're on it, Chef. Okay. Yes, Chef. That'll make the players play even better as we get a kid on Ken Amir. Who's Ken up? That's why Macharino's goaded, man. They even got the quest. I'm out here on the MMO. Yo, the MMO grind, the FGC grind. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Mike X, I've seen him uh, deal some damage in some brackets, some top eight spots. Hey, man, everyone in this tournament lo be loving Ken. We got some Ken Masters in the building. I think it's just Street Fighter 6. People just are like, I like Ken. And it's not even because they liked him before, it's because he's good. <laughs> he's just oh, he's really good. good. His new design is also very sick. The, it the is, new it Ken is, design, is. I, I am a fan. I, I do have to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been playing Ken since uh, Street Fighter 1. What are y'all talking about? What do you mean? I was always a player too. <laughs> All of a sudden, everyone been playing Ken since Street Fighter 1, man. <laughs> How city of Mount Yard actually wild. No OD necessary. <laughs> Mike, well calculated with that combo. Go get that kill. First one in the Ken Mirror match. It's classic versus the newer sort of style. And again, Mike doing a really good job of like when he's spinning far. His conversion have been on point. Look at that. Able to get that punish counter DP follow up and the throw right after the drive rush. Okay, here's the perfect parry. Yep, going for the side switch there. Great stuff again. With perfect parry, you definitely don't want to use too much resources on damage. You want to use it for that positioning here. And yep, here's the throw loops coming in. Mike coming in with the defense. So, oh, he's going to get the jump over. This is huge here. And yep, he's going to wait for the counter jump over. Great stuff coming out from Mike. Slow and steady here. I have to commit to the uh, crouch to kick drive rush or you find a whip punish. Master not able to find anything right now. Parry, light punch. Okay, here we go. I lied. No, no mm. one cancel applied into the into the uh, Dragon Lash side switch. That would have been sick. Okay, gonna spend it all here for the round. Absolutely. Mike X with the two rounds in a row to take game number one. With the quickness, I like that the whip punishes that we want to see from both sides are coming through from the side of Mike X. Dealing damage against that crouching medium kick. That bless button. Well, hey, I got one too, just like that. Just as deadly. Oh, yeah, th those are the blessed buttons. Those buttons went to church, man. <laughs> Ooh, I love the perfect carry on the Dragon Lance there. That side switch, yeah. Put him in the corner. That's why Ken's fantastic. However, that's very punishable. Oh, Mike with something pretty up going and put him in the corner. It's fantastic. It's that one cancel for some Oki. Grip the parry. Oh. Gets gripped. Yeah, that's the thing. You hold that parry for too long. You get the punish counter on that throw. They're going to take a little bit of that bonus damage. Got to watch it. Okay, knocking on the door here. Going for the strike throw. Oh, and getting the counter hit there. Yeah, that is going to be enough with the OD. Mike is too good with it right now. Long getting blessed with that. Stan Fierce fist to face to put him in his place. And that's in the corner space. The east coast of the screen. This is bad. Yeah, he's waiting for that. Say heavy kick with the driver's like punch. Stops him and stuffs him. Yeah, but right now, Mike got a lot of ground to work with. Okay, gonna go for the side switch. You get the back throw here. Still a lot of ground to work with here and a lot of gauge on the side of Mike. And that's gonna be such a big deal here in this matchup. And man. Mike doing an incredible job. Oh, not getting the driver's conversion off the counter hit there, or the punish counter. Oh, Mike, though. Jinrai, DP. Bar getting all built up at the bottom two as well. That's be solid. Perfect parry. Next sequence will be scaled. You go for a reset, or will Damn. he go for damage and kill the drive gauge? Curious, he will. Everything on the 50% scale? All right. Mike said, give me this damage. I don't care about inflation. I don't care about the scaling. No matter. Mm -hmm. Wants to kill that drive gauge. I actually don't disagree with this, but the jump in finds the least with all that bar. But get jumped in on too committed to putting plasma down with his fireballs. Got jumped in with that jump fears. Yeah, it was a good situation for Mike, like you pointed out, right? Because at the end of the day, you have guess for game with the potential of chipping out because you know you're going to put your opponent in burnout. So right. definitely a, a weird situation where it's like, okay, I'm not necessarily, like you're doing it for the damage, but you're mainly doing it for burnout in the corner guess for game. Or chip. Mm -hmm. 
Need a burnout. Longmaster is in burnout, but not too bad. It's going to go a lot of bar this level three. I definitely agree. Get this lead. Get your bar built up and is built down. Yeah, it's going to stall enough time at the end of the day. So time is of the essence here. The meter about to come back very soon here, just in time for the neutral for the offense. But this time, Mike X striking back here. Mike doesn't have too much drive meter to work with, but all the offense on his side. Going to go into burnout. Dash up jab. I'm just waiting Risky. here. Stuck oh, on the door, the neutral jump. Oh, calling out the opener of the Dragon Lash. Nest that ass. Hits him with the super to seal it. Damn, Mike. That was incredible, too, because Mike went in to burn out for that situation, but played it very patiently afterwards, right? Had the two meter on deck, had two bars on deck. So just the next conversion, as long as Mike was clean, which he was, the 2-0 is secured here. Let's see if Mike can finish off 3-0. I like that Mike's doing more than Monkmaster. It's how he's doing with the fireballs. He's been preparing those, or repairing those. However, offense is fantastic from the side of the master. Okay. The jump over both times, both sides. It was unscathed. Ooh, okay. Gonna spend it for the loops. That's good punish. Gonna stand me to pick the clip. That stand fierce. Okay, the shimmy, the finesse and bless. Doesn't put him to rest just yet. Perfect parry. Gonna get a side switch. Yeah, he caught him crouching. The extra damage, extra conversions. There's two bars, but just one punch is going to be enough. Longmaster gonna close out the round. Longmaster. I get some rounds on the board. But Mike just has a better round start. For MVP, try to back up for the shimmy. Back up for his troubles. Interrupted with a stand meter kick of all things from the side of Mike. He can go for the target combo. Okay. See, Mike. Okay, a little bit of stagger here. <laughs> Both smashing, crouching, muting kick, sharing the brain cell. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a big enough follow up. The crouch fear is not ending up to anything. No round cancels. Leaving damage on the table. Crouching, medium kick is going to be run DP level three. Yes, sir. E. Mike X doing the axis on the side. Walk master on his eyes. Mike is on set point. Mike on set point, but Longmaster coming in to this final round of game three with three bars on deck here. Ooh, okay, round start, perfect parry here. Not bad, Ooh, Long Mass didn't know how to do that. No anti right there. Looks to burn out. This is not that bad for Lucky. He hasn't caught up in the corner over ahead. I feel like an overhead into level three might be able to land the kill, especially now. One touch, getting level three will be all he needs. Even without oh. that, he's A-OK. -okay. Blockmaster, still in. No bars required. I just got the target combo. He's on the mark right now. I like this from Blockmaster. Now he's putting in one of those parries, perfect parries. When he sweep off the feet. I like that frame kill overhead block, though. Punish here. Yep. Punish counter. Start things up. To the corner. Oh, but the whiff. A little too early there. That's the Not first bust out we've seen from Long Monster. Honestly, that's the first time we've seen him bust out. I yeah, so ready. If I was Long Master, I'd be tight about that. It's like, dang, really? The one time I do it? The one time? The one time? It's the first reversal. Come on, bro. Let me have one. <laughs> Okay, we're running out of drive meter here. Something's gotta give. Oh, but Long's gonna get opened up here. Gonna spend it all, yep. Actually not gonna spend it all, just gonna go for it. The quick level one here, gonna get himself onto the board. Don't need to spend two. We're optimal out here. Mm -hmm. Very smart stuff. We'll build up that uh, level two or three DP as these rounds go down. ODDP does work out against the drive brush at least and a fireball follow up because of damage. Shimmy though. Oh. That was a little dirty. Oh, and that is going to put into burnout, catching the jump into. This is not looking good for Longmaster. Oh, oh, caught him lacking. Yeah, let's get cracking. You are definitely dead. Oh, D. Get that fall into level two. You know what to do. You're dead in X. Mike. Mike looking clean in the mirror here. 
Dang, all right, Mike X. Come on. speed, the buttons, mm. the fact that you can fall behind the fireball, there's always going to be a threat in uh, oh, Street Fighter 6. And then you have the safety of Tails off the level two in these mixes. She's great. Okay, okay. All the way to the corner here. Oh, man. Big throw. Yeah, side switch, you know. Zach is the counter. Chin ride. Yeah, I like that delay button. Zach thought it was a third. Ooh, okay, but the OD on the fireball. There's two hits on that one. It's such a hard position, yeah. Woo! Just like that. Ooh, coming through. First game. This, in this matchup, you definitely have better normals than Kit. You can outrange him with Stan Fears, and things like that. But I think the compactness when he gets in is, is definitely dangerous to deal with. And that crouching beauty kick has a lot of range too. Up in the corner, get to spin, fly rush for continuing amount of throw pressure. But Zach is doing fantastic right now. Perfect parry. Too far for the throw. No, but still. It's a dragon lash right after. Caught a press the button. Counter hit. DP right after it. Just like how we saw Sam going for some of the jump into the dive kicks to counteract some of these throw scenarios. Chun Li's gonna have the access to that with the jump landing kick, but gonna go right into the level three here. Not gonna be enough though. Need one more interaction. Guess for game getting snapped here. Round a piece. Fucking call him. Exactly. The double dash up. Jump in round start. Let's begin. OD fireball called out. This is bad. I like that anti right there. Text him for leaving and trying to find a side switch. Cross up DP against that cluster situation. Not wanting to hold any of those toxic positivity moments that this character put on. Jump through, up and over, maybe a fireball, but the whiff punish on the grab here to shimmy backwards. It's going to be big damage off the spinning bird kick, but missing the drive rush follow up. Oh, and the perfect parry after going to burnout in the corner. Oh, this is, this is the nightmare scenario. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a uh, little on Elm Street. It's almost defeat. Careful now. Could be drive impact. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, Going to stagger just a little bit to make sure there was no supers when the coast was clear. Hit him with a DI. And you are dead. Level three. See ya. See ya. Next game. First one to Pumano. Dang, and that's the worst feeling losing that third round. Just because you weren't aware, maybe just a little bit underneath one bar of drive gauge, you go, go for a drive rush setup after winning an interaction, maybe after a combo, and then you just go into burnout, don't get the drive rush, lose your turn, and then everything starts spiraling out of control. I like Romano switching up light kick into the Dragon Lash. You know, doing something a little bit extra, testing Zach Box reactions. Nice call from the corner. will be certainly really tested on defense right here. Yeah, Chun will at least have that reversal and have that layer of defense. And we haven't seen a bust out of Tenshou kick, have we? I haven't seen OD bust out just yet here from Zag. Could put that on. Yeah, and then the the, the jump uh, plenty kicks as well. It's very, very strong. Good counteract that throw loops and stuff like that. So very, very great on the defense, but it don't matter because Blue got the offense to counteract and it is rolling in the damage. Yeah, blocking that drive rush overhead off the swing stance cancel. Finds a Dragon Lash, no follow up though, but still putting the pressure on. Zach is on the back foot. Nice interruption. Counter hit, level two. We talked about this. This super really good Ooh. pickup situation. Jump fears, of course. Impact. Oh. But we wake up with the parry. We were wary. Driver reversal to put it right back up in the corner. Yeah, and I love driver reversal on offense. I mean, we've seen it a lot on the defense with some of the more defensive characters without reversals, but this is the offensive way to use that driver reversal, keeping your opponent in the corner. You go for your turn, and then right on their turn, go for the driver reversal. You keep that corner pressure here, because Zach used a lot of drive meter to go and set up the situation, but Boo able to counteract your burnout, punishing this burnout here. Oh, it's a clip the toes! Crouching medium kick, hits him with that level two. OD, not up for the kill. One touch, oh, don't, don't leave him alive. OD, DP. He saw the green, he said, I'm gonna go. Dang, Ken Four. Masters. Of course, of course a Ken player would do that. You gotta respect that they're betting it all and just knowing that Zach wanted to press that juicy button to get that last pixel of health. It was just looking too good. So we have to stagger step, you know what I'm saying? Like, just wait a little bit, like, kind of park yourself. Drive us like light punch to kind of call up these old EDPs. However, Zach doing better up this round. Round start looking great. Back up for the entire. Wasn't able to get it, get hit with the gym right, light kick, try to get that throw right after it. 
This time, Zach is aware. There's the bust out again. Do it again. Man, Zach has a lot of drive gauge to work with here. Oh, got the shimmy, and that is going to be it. Oh, barely alive. Okay, last chance here for Zach. The reset. Overhead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zach. Yeah, that was a dirty reset. Dirty reset. He knew he had to do it too. He wasn't gonna kill with that next sequence. He was like, I'm leaving this guy alive. Whereas a lot of you can leave the likes of Bumano. Like, I just don't wanna. With Ken, no. No. Dang, I'm loving these uh, OD uppercuts coming out for Blue. Very well timed on the side of the offense of Zach here. Here's the corner pressure. There's the throw here. Chun be a little bit farther away. So Chun has to kind of take a couple steps forward, get some Oki going. Okay, the fireball catching the neutral jump there. Yeah, I found the fireball right there. A little difficult to deal with the different times that Bumano was implementing. Run Tatsu for the enhanced amount of Oki. Yeah, even the couple of dashes there at the end too, just all the way getting every single piece of that stage that you can get. Oh, and is this gonna be it? You got a lot of cash to spend here. Don't even need it. DP was enough. Umano, on set point, level three flashing. And Zach Fox be lasting. I don't know, man. This is looking real difficult. And like how he stagger steps the crouching medium punch every so often after like some sequences to get a possible counter hit. Hasn't worked yet though, Zach Fox is pairing and blocking, but for how long though? A little bit of drive gauge here on the side of Boo, but Zach going on empty here, going for the drive rush there. Gonna cost three though for that one. Oh, the spinning bird kick, gonna keep the pressure on, but I got the meter to spend here going into the level one. Get off of me. I like that slide applied. And Hazachu, which we haven't really seen. However, light punch starter, Bumano, only a little bit of bar striking that drive impact too far out for that. The back dash super. I like this punish. Now Bumano is the one in burnout. Oh, he would have got a fall. I would have I would have broke my face. <laughs> Yo, imagine that into like something like drive rush. Ooh, that was funny. Oh, but the opening coming through. The level two kicks to the face here. Zach. Gonna close this game number three out in the favor here. Had to go for the survival game win too. Zach, you know, you got the game win, but who was still up 2-1 in the set. Yeah, I think the Hazanchu is definitely a difficult thing to, to throw out because he can light punch for that nice little punish counter. But Boo just didn't have the bar. Right now, he is lacking in bars. He gets tossed. So is Zach, but yeah, he's going to go for the parry. OD, there's a bust out finally. Trying to stave off some of his momentum mm. and baits out the OD finally to the side of Bumano. That's a classic. Someone hits you with the OD DP, you want to OD him right back, but a little bit too obvious. Dang, the kicks to Ken Master, Jin Rai. Coming through, and of course, in burnout, it is a nightmare here. Can you get the chip? It's not enough. The perfect parry. I know you want the hit here, the corner carry with the run into the Tatsu. Oh, great anti air, though, coming out from Zach. All right, Zach, maybe a reverse 3 0 cooking in the pipe here. Could be. Could be. A lot stronger than that. Just stopping himself from drop rush. As soon as I was going to say, he has been so good about baiting those out, got clipped and hit with the ODDP. I even like the lightning Over. kick there just to stall out the air drift. Just to make sure the fire is not getting hit on the fireball after that neutral jump. Just the, it's, it's the little things, man. Zach, Zach knows. It's about the little things. It all adds up. So it's just damage to the side switch. Level three. Expeditiously. Let me kill that drive gauge. Put you on the back foot. Ooh, man. Oh, not going to go in burnout, actually. Just very, very close. Oh, yeah. Going into the OD instead of the drive rush here. But the parry. So smart to regain some of this gauge here. It's not enough, though. The throw. Still not enough. Oh, just barely out of range. The light. Not going to outrange that crouch medium kick. It's actually so strong. Drive rush, light punch, and the crouching medium kick. They never expect it. They're like, am I going to go for a throw? And you go for that low, and they get blown up. And Bumano. On set point, Zach gonna wrap this back. Perfect parry. Chicago punch with a throw. Nothing big. Nice challenge on that dash up into level three to build that bar back up inside of Zach. Get some more gas up in the tank. Yeah, I mean, not gonna go in to burnout, but at this point, Zach kind of playing a little bit of defense here, trying to get a little bit of space and get a bit of drive gauge advantage. One bar on the side of Boo, though. Just to jump in, though. Ooh, okay, there's the drive reversal. A lot of meter here in the drive rush. Oh, Zach goes into burnout though, and Boo getting closer and closer in to the corner. The punish counter, one more into the drive impact. Is it gonna that be enough? So slick. <gasps> I get 
Remove that drop. I don't know if that would have killed, but Fumano now could definitely do so. Touch it a level two sort of situation. Or any sort of conversion with some dry brush behind it. Zach getting aggressive with it, knowing he's on his last legs. No pun intended. With with two oh, Donnie don't even need it. It is going to be enough. Boo. Stealing the deal here. 3-1. You have to go to the game FAQS, print out like Ooh. 700 pages. Your mom would kill you when she heard the printer because you'd be wasting all the ink. And ink was expensive, so uh, and yeah, all the paper. much easier. Oh, all, all the, the paper. paper oh. Yeah, what am I talking about? The paper's expensive too. <laughs> Times were hard back then, man. On your AOL dial-up internet. All right, all right, okay. enough, enough boomer talk. We're here in, here in the now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've got smartphones. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay, same matchup though. And Shine, previously a Kimberly player, so I, I, I definitely want to see Shine on the Chun though. I think his uh, character always fun to watch. Okay. Yeah. And honestly, within maybe a month and a half of time with this character, he's already grinded her up to this point. He's super strong. Has been, he's made top eight out here at TNS, I believe, and uh, has done work also cost him. Nice. Uh, also fireball, but trying to go for the overhead, but make him try impact. So react to that, you get a size with the Dragon Lash DP. Usanagi trying to get that throw, the tech throw. Oh, the low, Crouching Mini Kick to open him up on the toes. Jump Fierce, jump Fierce again. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. The Jinrai loops coming through. Oh, I'm gonna burn the Tatsu to get back on the left side. Usually when you go for that level two, you get the side switch there. So, man, great stuff going for the reversal side switch with the air EX Tatsu. Okay. Get that pickup. Go for that uh, first level two. Pick up setup. Keep the drive rush. Try to go for something, but still got hit with that old EDP. Kusanagi definitely a more wild sort of style player. Good tension kick to knock him down the ground. Ant tires are on the deck here for Shine Final. Okay, the train back and forth. Great anti air. Okay, just gonna finish the OD kicks here. Waiting for the jump. Ooh, okay. Oh man, these fireballs perfect in space though. Look at that, and then sweeping the leg. Cobra Kai. That crouchy light kick, bro. I feel like that's not a button I get to typically see from the side of Chun Li's, but it's real good. Can cancel into quite a few things, and the we see is a good closer right there, this side of shine. Crouchy with a kick starter, drive rush. Gonna get that spinning bird kick for that OP. Crouch fierce, cancel with the fireball, that's where he stands. Okay, the perfect carry. Yep. Bing bird kick really good with the core carry. Oh, and then ready for that. And that's gonna hurt in burnout. And the side switch punish as well. Shot got it on deck. Ah, beautiful answer. Back up for the potential kick. Got impact, of course. That's gonna be a wrap. And that's Shine with the game in a round on the board. Kusanagi being able to control the likes of Kusanagi, who's been wild, who's been fantastic with Street Fighter since five, since six, is no small feat, especially with a newer sword of Chun Li. Definitely digging this. Okay. Went into the levels. Oh, hmm. Give me all that drive, baby. Dang. Chun-Li is kicking. Oh, no. So is Karen. Got that toe tap into the super level two. Meaty fireball. Burnout. Bad sort of situation right here. Up in this corner station. Hits him with the Jinrai. Back throw, though. Okay, Shine. Oh, what if he went for three throws, though? Oh man, it might have worked. <laughs> <laughs> it might have worked. Ain't gonna it lie to worked. <laughs> oh man, all right. Because now I can get him one round on the board here. Final round for this game, number two. So now he's starting up with some offense here, but Shine getting some offense start of his own. Going for the corner carry towards the left here. Yep, just chill on back here. This charge character really strong on the defense here. Walking back and have access to the projectile. Okay, gonna start some offense, but the parry, man. It's not getting so much driving here off of that. I try to keep as much as possible. Please convert this to really, you know, maybe find drive much like punch. Follow up as punishable. He committed to that target combo. Hella minus. And Shine's gonna make a pay for it. Hits him up with the super. Stomp. Jump Ooh. fierce, low to the ground, double dashes in. Corp for the situation, caught up with the light. I don't know what Kusanagi was doing. Maybe holding north, got clipped the light punch. Backing off, careful now. I was gonna say, that drive rush was in play. Still gets the two piece. Dang, yeah, not gonna believe in that San Chris. Maybe just dropping it there. But it's so fun watching different Chun Li's do different types of air combos. I, it's just one of the funner characters to watch for sure. You can be very creative with the, uh, the punish game. 
Yeah, the fact that she gets those those pickups with like safe jump setups, resets, yep. and things like that with that jump fierce, and her, like, you know something nasty is gonna come. And I've seen like Chun Li players sneak in like drive impact after some of those sequences after they get the drop oh. down. It's it's a lot of variance that leads into damage. Like that level two is so pivotal to her game plan. And right now it's pivotal that Kusanagi do something and find a game plan. Cause Shine is uh, cooking this cat right now. After the perfect carry, of course, the scaling's gonna be on. I love the sides. Oh, dang, we side switching left and right. Yes, plus, you get like neutral jump, I believe. There's certain punishes that you can do per character, but it is hard, especially in the heat of battle. Dang, and this, this parry game on the projectiles, that drive gauge was looking so healthy for Shine, and because of that, Shine can spend it up when it comes to the conversions, man. I love that. Having that drive parry on deck in the neutral so you can go ahead and get the payoff later. Shine on set point. All right, Shimmy with the throw punish counter, so extra damage, trying to go for another one. Shine goes for the tech, throw does not connect. Perfect parry. What punish are we going for? One with Oki, yeah. Drive rush, side switch, calls it out, damn. And all the bars gone. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so clean, but just drive rush into the clean jump over. Oh my goodness. Fading out the option, giving your opponent that visual cue shine. Showing you how to do it here. A lot of different techniques and Tsunagi needs to figure it out right now because shine just needs one more round. Okay, not out of burnout here. You got a lot of drive meter to work with. The offense coming through, but shine knows that. Perfect parry. He's so ready, finds the overhead. Gets that level three, you're definitely dead. About to make oh. this man watch the cutscene. Gets a big pickup. Jump fears level three. Yeah, he said, I want to make sure. Extra sure oh. that you are dead or the dead. 3-0 on Kusanagi. Shine moving on. If this people is just pools. Dang. Oh, I, I was expecting maybe the level one air super. Just you know, make it quick, make it clean. But like you said, shine. Well, uh, yep. you know, Cami especially being able to skate through the fireballs with ease, dive kicks and things like that. But right now, we'll be seeing the Kimberly. And for this character, there are no bust outs unless you're using oh, super. So I'm curious on how this is going to go down. Not a matchup I get to typically see. We're going to learn on the fly. Diapho versus Cycles. Wow, I know Diphone, what? I know Diphone did a lot of uh, content on Kimberly when the game first launched and played a good amount of Kimberly. So we'll see if that knowledge helps Diphone out here versus Cycles. Try to get the slither out here. Does get out, not gonna get hit up too off too much, but in the burnout here, Cycles is keeping the pressure on, keeping that damage coming and back. You know, you're not on the left corner while well, you're here on the right, and Cycles is gonna go ahead and close this round out. Oh my god, the pressure is ridiculous. Cancels, run stop cancels, the air to air is in the Tatsus. Well, optimize and just all that oppression approach, making it hard for Diapho to find anything. Does find an anti right there though. He needs to find a little bit more right after. He needs to find some damage, some, maybe some medium punches. But Cyclist just gets in and uh, gets that oppression on. Oh, we out though. I don't need to deal with no spray cans. Medium. Get the poison. Cancel. Yeah, this is bad now. This is full loss of plus, but no gaps though. That's a super. Okay, running through here. Getting some offense started on the burnout here. See what kind of burnout. Oh, again. I will spend it. I will not let you run these setups. I like that, though. Wakes up with his own super. Waited and baited. Deliberating is like, I know what you're going to do. Let me hit you with an OD. Azuna drop. Pull the back out. Into another super. Oh, man. Cycles. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Right. This apron's mine. This apron's mine. God, I got it. I got it. All right, all right. Starting off strong here. We'll see if Diphone gets something going here. And a lot of those guys, I mean, the way Zyklos just used the, the bar defensively, right? The, I feel like that was the main reason why he was able to take that game one. The OD Slither, I'm out, I'm center. Again, it don't matter. You get out of the left, I'll take it to the right. That's crazy, he just kept pressing the button. <laughs> All right, there's a stand medium punch. That's what I want to see up on this matchup, but it might be kind of hard. Even Stan Pierce got called up with, with the uh, elbow drop, so your neutral and your normals might be kind of hard to use up in this matchup overall. Elbow drop again to get in. Vagabond, knockdown. That overhead. Found a button, found the drive rush, found the crouch fierce. Cycles, yes. up a game in a round. 
Yeah, Zyko's really using that elbow, elbow drop so well. It's just such a great mix-up in the air. You just stop your air momentum and come straight down. So many different mix-ups you can go on with that here. But this time, back from getting his opening, getting the poison going, and this extension is going to tick away with a lot of damage. You see the poison reapply coming through on Wake Up. Yep, the puddle. I love the setup. What attack though. Risky, but still. Now getting hit with that counter hit. Explosion because he has that poison applied. A level three. Once ago, for as much as possible, and this actually probably will kill. What am I talking about? Hmm. We're spending Perfect. for the round, but you gotta watch it. Zykles got the level three, three bars on deck, and we saw how Zykles was able to use those bars on the defense against Diaphone's setup and against Diaphone's offense in general. We'll see great anti to start things off. The drive rush here, applying the poison. Oh, right around the navigation, though, and all this time the poison's ticking. Right after, trying to press the button for you shouldn't. Cycles, that shirt is looking real stained. Let me find out this another perfect, bro. You might have your chatty privileges revoked with another perfect. Trying to find the anti right there, okay. Off the deck, but still the medium connects. All right, you can still talk, Cycles, but still, dive on eating things out. Dang, Cycles almost got banned. <laughs> if you get double like perfect, oh, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Zyklos, I, I can already tell, man. I don't see no chatting. I, I think Zyklos kind of locked in right now, man. Yeah, this is definitely one. It's a character, again, you don't get to see at this high level. Not that many people are sticking with Aki. And then again, you have to fight someone like Diaphone, who's so strong with the setups. Even the neutral, just gonna throw it right there. Oh, whip the stand, medium punch, still get the crouching right punch. Perfect. From the side of Diaphone. Dang, and another, man, Diaphone. I how many perfects is he gonna rack up with this character right now? Sliding underneath the poison ball. Okay, Zyko's getting something started here. Ooh. Super works out. Yeah. Filling up this time. Yeah, level one's nice. He's gonna apply the poison as well. Xiphone. That nice extension. You want these strings to be as long as possible, especially once you get that poison applied. So these extensions are gonna have that little extra value added here for Aki. Xiphone converting into the super here. Gonna get some good damage. What's the pressure? Oh, the punish counter. Yeah, using that Tatsu gets a throw. Drive rush. Rips him up, even leave the corner, try to do it again. That's the win, those from Cycles. Game to game, round to round, all even out. Yeah, Diaphone trying to use that EX slither to get on to the center of the stage here. But Cycles, of course, knowing that it is not immune to the grab, no matter how low Aki is to the ground, she can get snatched. The setup, he was trying to make him whip the throw, but too far out though. And now gets that punish counter and some distance with it. Drive rush, crouch, and kick. Oh, the challenge over here from Cycles had to do so. He's running out of bar, out of time. But now he's fine. He hits that super. He's gonna get that drive gauge all built up, at least a little bit more than he had before. Okay, no bar to spend here, but Diphone has the CA on deck. You only got one more chance with the snatch into the snatch, and that's what is so hard for Aki to deal with. He does have some options to deal with the hitboxes, right? You got that frame one intangibility when you go into the OD slither, but other than that, these grabs have been really, really doing a great job inside. Absolutely. The elbow drop too as well, still doing a lot of smooth. Okay, Lash with the explosion, that's on the poisonous puddle. Okay. Stay in this mid range, and this is where Aki really wants to operate, right? Yeah, I feel like this isn't too bad. You're not up in the corner until you get your setups going and flowing. Just like right now, poison impact. Oh, no. He didn't react and he is dead. Diaphone standing off set point. Okay, backing up here. It's like we're getting some offense going. The drive rush, but no, you ain't grabbing nothing. I'm spending it into the poison bubble. Oh, sliding right underneath the poison ball, though. Where with that zoning? I like that for Zyklos. It's hard to do that Again. zoning. It's not recovery on it. Balls out the super. OD. Ball splat. Get that pick up. Drive rush. Goes for the throw. Okay. Set up here. Okay. This time, I'm in the slither. But it don't matter. It don't matter what side you are on. Zyklos is going to get the mix started. And Zyklos still got three bars to spend, too. It's coming kind of conversion. Text the throw right after, though. Yeah, Daphne trying to enter in with that stand medium punch. Usually, like other buttons really don't work out. Like stand fears has been elbow dropped, whip punish. 
Trying to rule the neutral. You have to spin some of that OD bar for the fireball, but punish. Oh, this is bad. Corner carries is where you don't want to be against Kim. And ooh, there's the punish counter from the corner, applying the poison here. Going into the slide, applying the pressure. A lot of different moves you can do from the slide here. Daikun going for the very safe options. Oh, okay, I like the extension here. Pick up level three. <gasps> Doesn't reach all. Oh, Typhoon still has a chance. You tell me there's a chance. Now you still get the buff even though the whip has happened. Yeah, this might be it. Gonna spend it all, but the throw escape trying to go for the mix here. Oh man, and being in burnt out versus Aki, this is going to be very troublesome. All this tick damage and the chip is gonna be so affected alongside with the poison. We got a game five situation dive home versus Cycle. Hold up now. Hold up now. Y'all was prophesizing my man's demise. Let's let's pull it back a little bit. Dang. We in there. That's yeah. Crazy. Dang, we got no faith in the chat. Dang. And you know what? Diphone's here, though. Diphone's here to give you some faith in this character. Make sure to check out the YouTube, man. Maybe you could learn some Aki setups. It's all for maximum excitement for the content. I get it. I get it now. I get it, Diphone. I get it. Frame kill. There's the throw right there. Yeah. The mix. The overhead. One more hit. You're dead. Back throw. <laughs> oh, no. Through the offense there it's gonna fight back cycle is not letting dive set up anything too crazy here see if cycles can just close this one out one more round here oh and i like the teleport not gonna be able to get the whip punish but gonna keep his turn and there's the punish counter oh, so close to the corner too fall to the uh, button usage of that sand medium punch another throw doubling down with it try to go for another one the level one we'll get some Dang. space up in this place master work a try to hit him with the triple throw Impressive. Uh oh, level three also on the side of Zyko. He's gonna get that pickup off the explosion. Oh, the Azuna drop. Vagabond oh. into level three. I like this clean with it out here. This might be enough. Will it kill? Looks like it's gonna be enough. K O are the two letters on the screen. Zyko's with the 3 2 victory over Diphone. Fantastic job of being. But talk it. Speaking of characters we haven't seen yet, got the Zangief and the Cat. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Cami tonight. Surprising. Not surprised to see my boy Ramsey, who did work at a roundhouse this weekend on the Geek. Causing some grief. This dude is ridiculous. He's been strong up in Street Fighter for years upon years. In fact, he was going to make a top eight of a CPT, uh, you know, points. He was like a. Uh, I brought what you called back in the day. Whatever it was, we got points. Uh, he did really well, but he like, got his plane ticket for that Saturday, so he had to leave before he can go for top eight. I was like, come on, bro. Damn. Come on, bro. Not the flight mix. That's the worst. Not the flight mix. He didn't believe. I'm like, bro, you're good. But anyway, he's out here trying to work his way through World Warrior and then also TNS. There you go. There you go. The grind never ends out on the streets here. See if Ramsey can get through. Hide though. Hide on. Oh, and I like that twirling on him. In the corner. Oh! Last hit of stage here. The burnout. Oh! What is going on? <laughs> oh man, high going for the neutral jump, dude. We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. Just I feel get it. Out. I feel it. <laughs> run! Run! <laughs> Amy's a murderer, bro. I get it. The, the buttons, that crouching medium kick. Woo. Absolutely. All right, coming on through here, the corner. We got the back-to-back -back snatch here. Oh, try to maybe go for another third one there, but not necessarily the, not as traditional. Oh, I love the whip punish, though. The side switch. Hmm. Back right up in the corner. Tossed. Pressure. No cross cut DP. Still will get that punish counter right punch starter. And we'll find the finish either way. High. Evening things out. And I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say that if things go bad, Ramsey could switch over to Honda if need be. He does have a character in his corner. But staying fine right now, it does find the punish counter. Medium chop. Three piece. Dang, man. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes you got to send the Honda button. Send Honda. Mm -hmm. Send Honda. Send help with Honda. <laughs> I didn't want to use this. You left me no choice. But he's LA okay. SPD, you are too close to me. Ramsey had him caught up in the corner. The big bear hug right there. Dang, man. That's where the damage comes from from this character. Is the command grabs. Oh, again. I can smell your breath. If I can smell your breath, you're too close. 
Oh man, you, you just can't, you can't step up like that. Oh, trying to get the parry there. Oh, another one! Yeah, can, can I get one more though? Can I get one more? Ah! He's trying to do it for you. He heard you. He was like, oh, let me try. Yeah, I, I, I respect it. Thank you, thank you. You might lose the round because of it, but I, I still very much so appreciate it. Still able to get that low though. It will throw the needle. Lantai's right there. Straight from high. Chuck over the dodge kick. The air is right there. Drops him down to the ground. Ramsey a burnout, but still gets the knees on. The ashy knees coming through. Ramsey is cooking. Them, them knees are kind of scarred up, man. Dang, dang, really? dang, he's been through it, bro. Fighting the bears on the there. body, man. Yeah, I didn't know Hippo out here. We're fighting bears. <laughs> hey, man, some, some people got to train even harder, man. That's how they become champions. Watch this asshole. Oh. Puts him in the corner. Oh, man, this is a tough position for Hyde here. What are you going to do when, it, when and where the jump? Oh, the snatch. You're hugging the air. That means Hyde's going to come in with the punish. Level three going on E there is Ramsey. The tank is flashing. Help or not be lasting. However, the trade. With the e. oh, the chip. oh, never mind. That's it. Off that stand light kick. Honestly, though, I like that Ramsey's using stand light kick on his own side of things to so punish. Got the medium kick. Caught him walking in. Got the counter. And the Laurie right after. using some of these more long-range pokes here. I like these neutral jumps. Very safe here. Not going to give up too much. Oh, and the OD twirl there on reaction. Sniping on anyone in the air, man. Yeah, it's real good. It's, it's hard, though. If they cross you up, you're going to get clipped. Yep. But yep. got to spin that bar. Ramsey has one high down. There's a stand light kick. Spin cycle on max. In Ooh, the yes, that's speedy. Mm. Aerial. We got that. We got those. Dang, Ramsey looking clean out here on the geek. I don't, I don't think we gotta. I don't think we need to send Honda, man. That's kind of wild. I mean, he's always been like that. The type that if the matchup's bad, he'll still run it with a comfort character. He is doing work. Oh, the cancel Siberian <laughs> Express, wearing him. Oh my, my bad. Running bear grab. Let me give the official name there. Ramsey trying to hurt Hyde right now. Man. Every time he's trying to he's trying to end it with like three grabs in a row. He's, he's definitely trying to hurt him right now. <laughs> no more damage is that. <laughs> Ooh, barely enough. Top. The neutral jumps, man. I love it. Okay, but the burnout though. Oh, stand oh. fierce. Puts him down, yeah, that stamp here is fantastic. The catch on these limbs coming in. The jump ins, whether it be buttons on the ground too as well. You gotta go for crouching meter kick, but then you see Ramsey getting a stand meter kick over that button. And we've also seen him light kick with punish. There's the anti air OD spin. Ooh, okay, right into the two. Yep, the drag in. Oh, okay. Going for the conversion here. Mm, clean with it is Ramsey gonna keep that corner pressure as well. What you want on the ground to chase his character down. You want to put him in the corner. Light punch buffers. Wears her like a suit. Ramsey, 3 0 over Hyde. Muscle power in full effect. We talked about JP. Well, Guile definitely up there in terms of the, the top tier, the top of the crop zoners. Mm -hmm. Definitely a character that can give uh, Ken some issues. You know, give to the fireballs, takes you using OD fireballs. A perfect parries just to get in. Near normals kind of combat this character in some ranges that are not so good for the side of Ken. Perfect parry though. Okay, yep. Gonna go for the side switch, goes for the double dash forward, get as much ground as possible. Gonna put it in the corner here. They got the parries on deck. Yeah, nice. The gap. OD just gets some space into this place. Sends out the Sonic Cross too as well. Different variations of the zoning in the anti of the stand medium kick this again is a dude that's been playing golf for years upon years yeah and i i love seeing just the little niche ranges of which you add there with like stuff like standing medium kick anti and stuff like that oh but the drive impact on reaction knuckles are going to have the cash in the world to spend on the drive gauge side of things to go ahead and close out that round let's stop keeping crossover that range is where he feels unusual and comfortable. Can't get CQCs. He can't get close and compact. Get some damage dealt out with the Gen Rise. Even when that happens, we see Flash Kick. You're leaving those off the deck. That's to find it on hit. Empty back throw. 
Okay, this is huge here. Okay, go for the OD gets the jump over, but does not connect. Tries to go for the back dash. What a punish. What a weight coming out from crossover. Gonna go into the level three. Gonna cook up a lot of that drive gauge. Only one bar left here for not to be on defense. Oh, he thought he had the conversion. No flash kick. That's going to be it. That's unfortunate. Thought he had that fault with that light light. To get that OD flash kick right after this some space to back him up, but it was not meant to be crossover. Staying as close as possible and just maximizing what happens up in the corner. Yeah, just one too many lights on the blue side there. Gonna back it up. Gonna conserve this drive meter. Just gonna go for the jump over, or you can go for the drive parry on these sonic booms. Playing this mid range out. Oh, no one committing though. Got some clean, clean nuke. Yeah, definitely do not want to explode either side, especially for Ken. Get that corner carry. Likes of Gal. He actually has a lot of bar at the bottom. Good spin level three. He will hit him with Gal and the Sonic step push with this level three. Get a fat lead and put a ton of gauge right back. And more importantly, put crossover in the corner. He's going to have to navigate the maze of booms. Yeah, especially in this mid range, when is the jump going to come through? A lot of patience coming out, coming out from crossover. Okay, the mishap here from Knuckle Dude just going to give the turn over to crossover, but still staying in this mid range. Got a lot of drive gauge to work with, and you are chipping away at this Ken's drive gauge. Over oh, the punch counter, the drive rush forward to get the full corner carry after the standing fierce. That's a whip punish right there. Caught from the corner, cross light punch, hit some with that Shibu Jinurai. And now this is bad. You're caught up in the corner. You have no health. OD fireball strikes back. That's not plus enough. Who has a chance at life? Dang. Catching Ken on the lean back, man. Mm hmm. That's such a good button. That upside down kick to low crush. Oh, the drive impact. He didn't want to have to bat anything. He said, I'm going to go for the most assured option possible. Knuckle dude with the first victim. Yeah, and what a way to just close out that first round with that drive impact. Great stuff. Had the resources in terms of health to take that hit, and you just needed one more piece of damage. Ooh, okay. Gonna get the anti there air on the other side. Great awareness coming out from over. DP though, checks him outside the skies. Knuckle do. Trying to walk in with these buttons. It's not just about the boots, it's about the buttons too. These fantastic buttons that back this forward heavy punch. All those things equalize having a long range game plan that if you get hit, it's gonna to lead to some damage. You know, with the charge up the OD side of the Okay, with perfect carries on deck here, conserving that drive meter. And look at that Knuckle Dude. At this point, I mean, even if your opponent's gonna sit back, if Knuckle Dude's the one that is lower on the drive gauge, the advantage is gonna go over towards him in terms of just replenishing that drive meter. OD, yeah, there we go. Cutting through the Sonic Boom. Enhanced Tatsu, go for overhead, goes for the jump, Fierce instead. So crossover. Able to work. So much health on the side of crossover, and right now, Knuckle Dude is kind of running out of time. 34 seconds here. So, crossover can keep on this defense, but finally finds an opening. Goes for the reset here. Not going to fully convert that Jinrai. Just yet. Flash kick, lets it rip. OD sends out the cross again. The different C settings of Sonic Booms, you see the fast ones, the OD, the Sonic Cross 2 as well, make it difficult to, to like traverse. Okay, 10 seconds here. Crossover just needs to have the defense open. Yeah, Fish is the last hit out. No, trying to extend, trying to get some damage. And heavy kick, been clipping a lot of limbs. I wonder if Gal has something against that, like a button he can use. Maybe stand fierce. Oh, it's a punish! Yeah! So down kick is actually hella minus. That's one of the quickest in the business in terms of quick supers. Like that from crossover. Crossover definitely having that knowledge in the match here, knowing exactly what is punishable and how to optimize the damage against each punish. Great throw scape there. Right back into that drive parry. Going into the light. I like that just in case Knuckle Dude went for that grab. Mm -hmm. So down kick again. Threatening if he tries to get for crouching and medium. Ooh, just barely out of range of that standing fierce. Ooh, okay. All of this drive gauge that uh, crossover is getting from the drive drive parry is so important. And stepping back on the grab there. Great stuff coming out from crossover. 
The shimmy game real strong with that crouching medium kick. It's super long. Now you're in the corner. Oh, D trying to strike back. I don't know what he went for. Maybe air grab just preemptively. Impact. Yeah, it's a wrap. Cross over on fire. OD Tatsu to put himself with a game on the board alongside Dude. Dang. Yeah, the way, the way Crossover's playing too, just gets a nice lead, stays at that mid-range, makes sure to really preserve that drive gauge and just knows how to play this mid-range so well. And then every time Knuckle Dude gets a favorable situation, knows how to parry the fireball setup into a some type of shimmy or just knows how to read Knuckle Dude's setups on the offensive side. Mm -hmm. Nice challenge and check. Light punch starter ends it with a DP up in the corner. Stan Pierce, jump out with that jump light here. One of the best cross the buttons. And you know, speaking of meaty buttons, actually, OD Sonic Blade is fantastic as a meaty situation, too. Let's go back to the screen. Getting the grab. Getting the drive rush here. And here's the parry. Both players around the two to three mark, but Knuckle Dude getting a lot of space and now burning a ton of drive meter from crossover. Man, looking really low here. Gonna use all oh. the base available. What a trade! Crossover turning out of bar. Gotta parry everything. Get, get, okay. get these, these booms. And it seems the, the real money maker in terms of like what can drain the drive gauge is gonna be the normals coming out from Knuckle Dude. Just a mix and oh Woo! a flash kick. Yeah, right through the, the fireball. Ooh, the oh, flash kick. Oh, this is real bad. Bolt and burnout. One more hit will be it. Run oh. DP thought it was enough for the air throw. He didn't wait for, he, for him to come down to the ground. He just went for the air throw. He said, I'm not even gonna wait. Let me take the disguise. Toss him down to the ground. I Knuckle got the dude. biggest punish. Woo you know, guy will be looking at his watch, man. He's like, I don't got time for this, man. He's a family man. You gotta put the kids to bed. You gotta make dinner first. Quickest punish and oh, going into the quickest conversion here, straight into the level three. Man, already in the burnout. Look at all of this damage. Knuckle dude looking really poised to go ahead and take this game number three. His game to win. It's over in the end, though. Crossover has some bar at the bottom. He needs to find that level three and route it back. It is hard, though. Cop in the corner. Did he leave a gap? Oh, yeah. He waited to bait. Another air throw. A perfect KO. Bro, Knuckle Dude with maybe not the most optimal punish, but I don't care. It is the best punish against DPs. The air throw. It's the what quickest, a statement. Man. It's, it's the, the quickest. quickest. You saw Guile looking at the watch. I don't got time to wait for you to hit the ground, man. I don't got time. Insane. Oh, I love it. He's working his way outside the corner. Use that flash kick. Another bait. You see it even break with that crouching light punch. Finds a side switch. Meaty boom. What's next for a meaty kick? Counter hit. Overhead. Punishable, though. He's up to the face. So the standing fierce. Big starter here for Ken. Crossover, getting a lot of ground here. Oh, and a lot of drive gauge, but I'm gonna take the flash kick to the face here. Oh, he does work out one more touch. Impact, only oh, flash kick allows him for a little bit more time to shine. Walk up throw though, he was, bro, he was shuffling on over. He's like, can I get in? Can I get in? Just need that one more hit. Just that one more hit. That one touch. Maybe enough playing the mid range here. No one committing too much. Oh, just barely out of range. Look at the. I, I love how the players will play right out of range of these normals, man. It's that game of like when they walk in or even walk back a little bit to think that you're uh, okay. But things like this happen. You think you can throw out a fireball to kind of establish a boat game. Then you think you can throw out that and get swept off the feet. Wakes up with a super nice parry to keep up the bar as juiced up as possible. Smart for crossover. Sends out the level three. Big lead. This is bad here for Knuckle Dude. No drive gauge to his name, or at least barely any left. What do you do? This is going to be guaranteed. Oh, okay. Not going into the, uh, oh, I mean, maybe just respecting the OD flash kick, right? So crossover. Not, I was going to say you could pretty much guarantee put him into the burnout there by going into the driver from the Sankers, but maybe respecting the reversal options, right? So great stuff mm -hmm. coming out from crossover, playing it very safe there at the end and closing that one out. Game five situation, though. I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. And crossover is getting better and better about these punishes. You see him even using stand light kick over, or I'm sorry, against the overhead. Really smart stuff. Game five situation here. We'll see who can take it. Who's gonna clutch it up? Crossover or Knuckle Dude? Top 48 winners. We're seeing the cream of the crop right now. Perry. 
been a big problem here for Knuckle Dude. It's a long crossover. Keep his bar and keep him stand. Impact right back. Okay. Knuckle Dude with the down reactions. That was on like the last second too. Great reaction coming out from Knuckle Dude. Gonna be able to set up all of this space here. And you already know Gao loves that space. The anti-air with the standing at medium. Getting the dry brush mix after the sonic boom. Oh, not going to be able to close out even with OD flash kick. Go for drive impact or stand medium kick will seal the deal. The Sonic Boom to entice him to leave. That's his defeat. Knuckle Dude on set point. That was such a sick setup. Gets the Sonic Boom and then forces up, dashes on forward, standing medium kick. Where do you go at that point? That was such a great corner setup. You go to hell is where you go. And you go to the next round, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. You're not even thinking about this one. <laughs> Ooh, okay, the overhead starter. Jinrai, nope, so to go into the shore, you can there get that damage right into the throw. Get off of me, gonna spend it. And Fireball backs up, looking for a reversal possibly. He still has him right where he wants, so he doesn't have to overstand to get the win. Look at this, the fact that he gets so much off of Boom, he's able to convert right after, dry brushing right after, on hit, perfect Booms, is insane. Knuckle dude, so locked in. That was wild because he just got enough off of that conversion just off of that few couple hits from the driver's combo then went into level three understanding that that was going to give him enough meter the awareness knuckle dude is on point right now rush light then he goes for a little reset right there cheeky with the dragon bang upside down kick looking for a pressure meter kick finally it comes through but it converts in crossover takes us to the final game final round Great stuff coming out from Crossover. Could have maybe got away with the Shoryuken there, but gonna be ultra safe and go ahead and go into that level one. So still got rocking two bars here. Knuckle Dude, now only with one bar, fairly close in terms of resources. Trade conversion, oh, fantastic from Knuckle Dude. Flash kick right after. OD to get the knockdown too. Again, the Sonic Boom combined with that standing medium kick for that mid-range anti-air. We've seen it so much in this set here. Oh, dude, looks like setting up shop. Goes for the drivers for the jump over coming out from crossover. 1308, thank you for the party. Coming through with the three. I see y'all. That came at the right time. Final game, final round. Crossover, knuckle dude. <gasps> top eight. Wait, he baits. He finds a punch against the minus eight. Level three. Deleting a lot of that drive gauge. That health. He's caught for the corner. Not a lot of resources here for knuckle dude. More importantly, crossover in a big lead. That, that I felt like that was the first time we saw the drive reversal. Knuckle Dude saving it for final game, final round, and over had being ready for it. Wild, you're going in to level two here. Harry game is insane from the side of crossover. He ain't letting a single fireball come through as much as possible to hold his ground and to keep that drive gauge as healthy as possible, even against the baby boomers. Oh, just coming in for the grab. You got one more chance. Oh, both players whip it though. Has one meter here. One bar gonna catch up. I like the cross up. Oh, but it's not enough. Oh, crossover able to come through and get the final round here on Knuckle Dude Game 5. Let's get a little bit over that 100 and we can work our way through there. We're working down through this bracket once again. Top 48 winners. Ramsey up in the deck against Mike, who's been cleaning up other Ken players. Oh, yeah, Mike Mike was the Ken Slayer. He's like, I'm the one. I am the only Ken in top 48. Probably not. <laughs> see my man Ajax in the chat. What up, Ajax? Let's go. There, keep side, bro. It won't be so rare out here. Ramsey can play in these online brackets a little more often. He's been fantastic with this game. He's been doing damage since five. And now out here with six. Oh, no. Back, though. Chicago Punch. Very apt. He wants that positional advantage. Parries, punishes, OD caught on the corner still. OD again, you can't leave. No, you stay there. Are you are you immediately trying to get out? No. Oh. Hey, my man, Mike and, and Ramsey said, back to square one, bro. Back to square one, bro. You're done. This, this is where you live. Hey, Ram. I want utilities, water, first of month. Dang, utilities? Have we seen Damn. the environment? Look at the, uh, Is there electric in this arena? <laughs> Some of this match though. Yo, my boy Ajax, hit it with the five. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Ajax. Oh, let's go, Ajax. Oh, bringing, bringing the Matcharino pot into the triple digit. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's the she gets the headbutt. I like that. The ender. 
My loyal fans, oh, don't land. Double back dash, he's out of there. <laughs> the double back, just in case. There were no fans. Stands were empty. <laughs> the stands look a little, I mean, maybe the lions in the background were about it. Yeah, man, yeah. Carlos coming through with the 10, yo, thank you so much. Yo, the roll with oh. 25, let's go. The let's go, chat. Yeah. Dang, chat kind of going in right now, hold up. What up, my Gs? Cross with another 10, dropping Ooh. it in. Let's go, baby. Dang, true combo? I know you got it like that, chat. You got it a like true that? True combo. Of course, the chat got it like that. TNS chat always like that. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Boss rings, burnout, yeah. looking ashy. And DPC with the sub to the prime. Here to have fun. Hope you're having fun right now. It's almost done. Ramsey got him caught up in the corner. Lockdowns, jail, no bail right now. Oh, he found the sign, the back to fierce. Ooh, okay, going into the level three. This is going to give Mike all of that drive gauge available, but a little bit of freeze on the side of Ramsey for that drive gauge coming back. So a lot of corner time. Oh, instantly oh, pulled the knee. trigger. And Ramsey knew. He knew you wanted it. So watch this, asshole. Bam. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, man. Every time you got your opponent in the corner, you always want one thing. You pulled the trigger a little too early, Mike. Just a little too early. Yo, shouts for the wrong two as well with that prime. I see you always support mm -hmm. Tom. All y'all giving love. Oh, far two with the prime. Six months. Dang, Three man. Three months and it's a child. Chat coming in with the drive rush. Okay. Dang, you guys. I, I need to see chat burn some meter, though. Yeah, we're Spending some meter. Well. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Let's go. Oh, man. Ramsey. Bring out some love. We got some heat too, as well as Mike. He's got other kid players in his scene. Well, shouts to Earl, who's definitely been a practice buddy of his. But Mike has been showing something a little bit different this round. Really fireball, stand fierce, fist the face, put him in that corner space. Yep, into the shore, you're getting a bunch of damage here going into the fate or the dash cancel. Okay, but here comes Keith. Okay, fighting back goes, here. Oh, going on empty. Go, Soggy Bear. I see you, brother. Look at that 10. Oh, drive impact with the whip punish here. Do you have enough? Looks like it is. Yeah. And it, I mean, even worst case, it would have been empty on the drive gauge for the next situation. Yeah, meaty fireball would have killed either way. Big finisher, big damage. Mike trying to tie things up. Driver slight punch, text the throw though. Sam meaty kick, ruling a lot of the social preemptively. So a lot of counter hits, catching Ramsey before he can even press a button. Sam meaty kick again. Ooh, the conversion. Oh, whip right in the face of Ramsey. No punish, though. Okay, a little bit of twirl here. Put him in the corner. Get back. that side switch. Oh, he slight Marco off for the SPD. Oh, why are you jumping, though? Again! Does it again! This is a no-fly zone coming out here from Ramsey. This man's been fighting Shoto for years. He suffered <laughs> so much. He knows how to get through the fireballs and make things count when people are put up in the corner. Mike X not done yet. Back dash. Watch the stand fierce. No grip here. Immediate stand fierce again. No vegan on that. Mm. Okay, so we're trying to make the way out of the corner. Oh, there's the duff. Another one. Nice little pokes here. Mike playing it safe, playing it careful. Snap chop, lay him down. Ooh, yeah, Bates in reversal. Yeah, unfortunate. Now level three means that Mike's gonna blow up all that bar. It's a one touch sequence after this. Oh, and this whole time the cinematic is playing. Look at that drive gauge for Mike. Mm -mm -mm, give me that. Great stuff coming out from Mike, closing that one out. One, one a piece here. And if you guys are just joining us, this entire bracket first to three. Long sets, what's gonna be? I love to see long sets. And no anti right there, not what I like to see from side of Mike. It's all counter, so maybe late on the DP. Ooh, great with punish. Punish counter coming through for that damage. Mike in the corner, taking all this chip here. Oh, the driver was getting blocked once again, but trying to come through the OD twirling. OD DP, but you put yourself in burnout. That means steam, that means uh, stand mediums for days. That means drive impact. Close, but not close enough. Oh, sweep, okay. 
Great tech still in the corner here, but Mike stalling off enough time to get that drive gauge right on back here. Side jab, look at that, just whittling away. Stan Meeting will take that trade, that transaction. More than help for that transaction, to be honest. And I like that. You'll take these trades, you have the help. And more importantly, like, you have this big lead, it's going to stop and stop those preemptively. Health is simply a resource. It really is. Especially for grapplers. Sir, yes, sir. See, okay, charging it up. All these little checks, and Ramsey not going for too many crazy big grabs. You know what I mean? I think Mike playing extremely safe, really forcing Ramsey to play this mid range, the perfect parry. Yep, it's gonna go for the position counter here. Ooh, a little stomp. Dang. Stomp the roach? Dang. A little crease up the shoes like that. Oh, did I get the anti right there? That's strange. Usually he goes for that old D, Lariat. But now we see level three from the side of Mike X. But X is on eyes right now. And even things out after this super. Game to game, round to round right now. Yeah, Rams is going to have three. Three stack a meter here for this final round. Game number three. Catching the jump in with the OD spin. It's in the plus frames. Still the Jinrai comes through. Ramsey backing off. Might have been a throw right after. I like that. Finds a whip punish the stand light kick. Plus frames again, sticking it in every so often. But I see Mike X just walking back, not trying to get hit with Sam Fierce or command grabs. Ramsey running out of that drive gauge here. Poking back and forth, really letting Mike come through. If you want to get the burnout, you got to earn it. Lots to work with right here. We have him in the corner at least. Against pressure up the corner, especially against deep is real nasty. OD puts himself in burnout, but now it's one Stan Fierce. Yeah, even just the target combo will be enough here. So you got to, there's so many things you got to watch out for if your mic. Oh, and the jump over the fireball, the classic go, the 2-1 lead here for Ramsey. Yeah, this man's been dealing with projectile characters for years upon years. He knows how to read the uh, fireballs and take these trades, get these leads. Look at that Stan Fierce guy here with the OD. Mike shows up a little bit different. I like that. Put a little sauce on it with that OD to do something different and cut through some of these normals. Ramsey been jumping over fireballs for years. Years. Hey, you complained about it too, but you know what? He laughed it out. Stan Fierce, OD. Mike put himself in burnout, but at least he gets outside the corner. Never mind. You're not fine. Back up in the corner again. Sweep off the feet. Janitorial duties are being done by Mike. Okay, these tech row backwards getting punished here. Mike doing a really good job of compensating for that. Okay, gonna get the combo here. Burnt out is Mike taking some chip damage. Oh, it's gonna have the super ready. The level one got it on deck. The buffer was there. There's a throw too as well. Okay, Mike makes this even more competitive. Staving off set point. Back in business. I got the drive gauge back and was able to enact that strike throw after the drive rush. Plus, stagger step. Just roll? Hello? Hello? The conditioning has been set. Okay, my man said he grounded. I'll get that command grab off, okay. Oh, I missed the meaty there. That was such a big drop in terms of position, but this perfect parry into the sweep, gonna get the cross over here. Great stuff into the conversion. In the, what, guess for game, and we backing up the parry, the flex, and the grab here. Ramsey getting on the board for this game number four. Set point. Oh, he did it! Drive rush! My loyal fans! As it lands, this man did drive rush! Are you kidding me? Level three! You gotta be kidding me! Ramsey, you are a demon! Conditioning complete. <laughs> it was punished counter two! Oh my god! Drive so rush to put him in the corner! Oh my god! Oh Son man. of a god. What a way to start a round. We all got got, bro. Come on now. Oh, yeah. E everyone in the chat, you you got snatched. You got snatched. Oh, I don't man. know if you got perfect KO, but everyone in the chat got snatched. Fantastic. You mentioned the walk speed, the buttons. The fact that she can dump out damage and deal out with these anti airs too as well. She has a medium kick. Her level two for the corner carry for safe jump setup. She's got a lot. Yeah, she's technical. Yeah, she's got the stance cancels and her anti airs can be a little finicky with the tent show. But they can all come to fruition against damn near any other character. 
Okay, we'll see if Zach got what it takes to take on Diaphone here. First to three, if you guys are joining us every single match in bracket, even the very first one we had on stream, all first to three. So we've been having some crazy long sets, which is, you know, I'm, I'm down for it. And even, you know, first, even if it goes game five, it's Street Fighter six, man. Like all the games are really quick. All the rounds are really quick. So it, it's just really good Street Fighter. We get to see, oh, the drive reversal is going to connect. This is like no excuses sort of thing. We gave, we gave you all the first of so no excuses. Got clipped and hit with that snake bite. Diaphone with the first one. This is loser side. I just read that this is somebody on their way out. Dang, man. Not the exit. Salty walk around the uh, house. Maybe Dang, to the kitchen. Oh. Zach walks level, right? We saw that previously with him going for like the resets. Same yep. with Ooh, I like that. The Slither underneath the fireball, getting the punish counter on that. Ooh, getting the poison as well, but they're okay, gonna back up a little bit. Cody fireball. Oh, but we got the decent defense. We got the reversal. Put himself in burnout though. Let's have the lead. Let's have his back dash away from the impact. What a read and what a rebuttal. Level two for that pickup. Jump fierce. To throw though right after again backs up with a whip punish again to get the win he's so good about walking back and using those blessed long reaching buttons to finish the job yeah and that walk speed just really gives zach so much wiggle room in terms of what amount of space you have to walk and get those whip punishes and set up your positioning great stuff coming out from zach it's probably good too because some of those things that you want to do for the like the stick bite you can drive impact on the action set to walk back into the So he's ready with it. But so we die up on with this level three. Nasty little lead right here. And that drive gate all juiced up. Yeah, just like that, Zach. Not gonna have too much drive gauge to work with. Gonna trade the fireballs. Good punish on that drive rush commitment here. Gonna back up, get a lot of space. Just like that, Zach after the throw. Gonna have a lot of room to work with Dyphone in the corner here. Fireball, carry, keep some bar up. What a whip, but it's drive rushing forward to clip the limb. Off the overhead though against Zach Box, using that walk speed to just kind of get outside of dodge. Finds the opening here, going in to the level one. Dyfo almost in burnout, trying to find as much space as possible and waits out the OD slither. And this is going to be a bunch of chip damage. Dyfo running out and it's going to be too close to the corner here. Zach going to be able to finish off and complete, get that game number one. Push back off that normal arm block. Made him drop it in the corner of that drive impact. Well, time for your Jack Box. Oh, to the fireball, but unfortunately, the block was up. Hands like Legos, block it. Drive impact, yeah, splat. Ford heavy kick pick up. Soft jump fierce. Again, the tech throw right after those. We'll go for that option continuously. We might see something different later on. Maybe an instant overhead or a fade out. <laughs> Dang. Throwing out the drive impact, Zach's not ready for that one. Getting the poison ticked up and ready to go. Almost getting the counter hit. Barely out of range here. All right, Travers, we put starter. Low, tries to open him up. Fireball, stopping Diphone from getting in. Preemptive with it. Save that wall, that fireball. Oh, trying to beat him in the air right there. We got hit with a snake bite. Empty low again gets the win. This time finds the opening. Nice stuff, especially with the poison as well, getting all that extra damage aside from getting that round. Ooh, okay, I like that. The OD fireball along with the driver. You're spending a lot of bar, but you're getting a very favorable situation here. Oh, not enough room to work with. Impact for an impact back at each other up in this corner. Much impossible trying to get that throw attack with Azashi. Nothing doing. OD. Try to get that throw right after. Thought it was going to be a throw, but he's out of there. Just using it to uh, escape the corner. Counter hit conversion. Super. All the way to the right side here. The little dash as well to get as much ground as possible. That drive rush here. And oh, on empty die phone. Oh, the oh. air snatch. Oh, and then the shimmy going into the EX kicks here. Zach looking clean with it. Yeah, that air throw. Dropping down to the ground. Falling out all of these reversals up in the corner. In terms of trying to find like this. we haven't really seen actually you know what stakes still the just yet we haven't really seen that come through but maybe it's the corner pressure the throw pressure continuously that's stopping that from even scoring and making it you know, after the diaphone okay going into the level three spending it all here on this final round of game number two nice damage lead here zach 
Looking a little low on this drive gauge as well. Gonna knock on the block here. Oh no, whiff punish on the drive impact. Oh. Find an anti right there. You saw the counter hit. Zach Box was not able to get anything out. No 10 show kick. Burnout, did he leave a gap? He did, he goes for the parry, maximizing the punish. And this is more than up for damage for death right there. The snake bite. Snake pierce, really. Great stuff with the drive parry as well. Getting all that drive gauge back, not moving at all. Can be really in position and going over the fireball. They're gonna apply the poison. Oh, and going right into the command grab as well from the slither. That same light kick every so often too as well is a good poke. And I feel like against like the, the whip, you gotta be careful. That might be a good punish. Oh, oh drive impact. Right. Yeah, not enough hits. We set with the overhead. Yo, tell me players are doing that. Don't let them talk about just foots. They definitely got some sauce with them. Okay, going into burnout here for this conversion. Going in to the level two. Okay, keep it up, man. Look at all this ground, and then the iPhone going in to burn out the air throw. No escape. Get back. Okay. Ooh, okay. Switching to that forward there. Oh, what a neutral jump there for the whip on it. Sam Pierce. Impact. They've been able to take an impact after impacts throughout the sequence of these buttons. Just to get these corner positions set off. I'm doing a great job on defense, particularly after that situation. Always taking every single throw Zach looking for there. Okay, get the opening. Gonna burn everything for the round. Yes, sir. Zach is gonna be going up. Who won in the set for level two conversion? Xbox, the drive impacts, his corners. He's maximized the corner position, I should say, has been the play. Jackbox has been fantastic in terms of keeping Diaphone in the corner and dealing as much damage as possible. Again, this is hard. You have the fireballs, the West Buttons, the walk speed to as well to avoid some situations. Look at that OD fireball to cut through some of the poisonous stuff that is presented. Okay, that's a lot of new burn from Zach here. Can't connect too much with the grab coming in from Diaphone. Oh, barely out of range for that setup. Oh, and there's the poison fireball. Be taken away. Good man, grab from the slide. Oh, fireball, drive reversal, action hits. Zach Box backs up a bit. That's right, tries to advance. Okay, there we go. Now Inferno. I like that sequence from Diaphone. Do have the drive impact, though? And the immediate dash forward, Zach Fox. Definitely want to make sure you have as much space as possible. Great stuff. It now in position to get the crossover with the jump. And now Zach Fox with the position. I love the stall out on the lightning kicks. They're going to catch the iPhone off guard. The fireball to lock down Zanshu coming through. Finds the counter off the medium starter. Jump here. Safe jump set up. Poison Ooh. caught the walk back in the Dragon Lash. Not even Dragon Lash. Poison Slash, I should say. Got the explosion. Diaphone's still in. You already know. I think I think chat wants to see the game five. Chat wants to see the game five. Okay, oh, there it is again. Diaphone's so good in those situations in the corner. Zackball's not able to get any grabs. Jumping on over here is Diaphone getting the reversal in terms of positioning. Like that light lash again. Not a bad neutral tool. Better for zoning, a bit faster than fireball, I believe. Less recovery. Way less recovery. So I like that to try to rule the neutral just for a little bit to try to outlimit this character. OD does get the clip. Heavy kick those, the anti okay, getting snatched here. Dive one running out of health in the corner. The drive impact creating some space here. When the poison on the ground goes for the drive parry on to fireball, they're not gonna really do too much and going into burnout. This is not a good situation for dive one. A lot of bites right now. Okay, that's a heavy kick. Dive one with the poison. He's got the fourth up on that CA is flashing. I like that jump back. You know? Oh, but finds the opening anyway. Zach Boz doing an incredible job, even though Diphone getting access to that drive gauge right at the end. Yeah, calling back, definitely uh, walk back. Oh, speaking of calls, calls out. 
That minus eight drive reversal. Throw. Drive. Oh, I thought it was going to go for the overhead. That drive. Rush. I'm surprised of all things. Diapole switching it up. Yeah, both players in this final round got three bars to spend here. Who's going to get the conversion? A lot of grabbing. Diaphone gets the grab into the corner here. Going to back up. Side switch. Actually gets a hit. This is real unfortunate. Big pickup here. Zach Box. And didn't have to spend that level two, which is really unfortunate. That means level three could be the way to play right now. I don't think that works, my friend. And Diaphone able to even out things. All right, sure that game is five. Plus. I mean, in, in, in the in the burnout, too. So I mean, maybe that's why I went. Oh my goodness, whiffing the OD kicks right there too. That's a, not a way you want to start game. Five. Mm -hmm. This is bad. All poisoned up. Up in the corner, sets up the poison ball once again. So when they wake up, they're eating some of that lean back throw though. Puts them in the corner, eliminates that off the table for a little bit. Perry and drive reversal. Impact right back though, sack box. Yeah, Man, give me that bar. Phone. No drive gauge now in the corner here. Ooh, these kicks would be a lot safer. But oh, the level one. Typhoon had it on deck with the poison too. Oh, oh, with the crush that's gonna be enough. Man, Typhoon was so close, sneaking away from that round from the burnout situation. What are these drop impacts just snuck in after like an all situation? It's actually wild. He's like, I want to kill. Like, I mean, maybe the fall will or won't, but I'll make sure if I hit you with that drive impact. Set point. Wake up super DB. Wait. No, you try to go for that grip, but that was not it. Diaphone with that super right back. The fireball too as well. He sort of fought with poison behind it. Was going to hit, but the drive impact hits against the poison slash. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. You're not going to be able to get the pickup, though. Try to go for the light on the slide there, but you got to go for the grab. Drop rushes in. Interruption. Dash up counter. Hit the reset. The situation. He's got the level three. That's all he needs. Jump fierce. Level three. Cut scene. Dive on cut off. Zach Box oh, moving on. And that was such a great set. Zach Boss doing an incredible job game five. And there are so many close and tight interactions. This top eight that we have, crossover, going up against Jimmy's. I didn't even see this person. Yo, who, wh where'd they come through? They, they went to Winter Side, couldn't even see them on the stream. Jim. Off the charts. Let's go. Let's go. Jimmy. On the chat, we've been seeing a lot of Chen today. Yeah, quite a bit of Chen. Good character, I'm telling you. The good Can't character alert. Any <laughs> Re uh, redo the uh, tier list, please. Sound the alarm. Good character alert. All right. Well, the final test has arrived. If you're a good character, we'll see if you can go up against Ken Masters here. Crossover doing an amazing job, still staying on the winner's side of things here in top eight. Mm-hmm. Also, the, the big lead right here. The head side right there. Trade, the raw sweep of all things. Crossover. Dangerous cat. Running it like that. In the burnout, though. Catching the toes. Going low there. First game across the drive of slight punch. Although the crouch communicates come through. Gets a fall for the pick of the jump here. Support. Level one. Okay. Spins that bar to get that maximum amount of corner push. A different sort of way. Okay, but instantly crossover. Getting on towards the middle side here. Now in the corner is Jim. See what we get here. Oh, in the burnout. Jim, he easy. There we go. Is he overhead? Proper pronunciation. He's getting blessed by those Jim rise, though. Oh, back throw. Over up in the corner, not an option. Dragon Lash, I bet. Side switch, yes, sir. Level three of all things to get that big lead, kill that drive gauge, put him on the back foot. Okay, yeah, not looking too good here. Crossover coming in with the offensive driver forward, yep, and that should be it. Gonna finish this one up, no bar required. Gonna go ahead and sweep up that game number one, real quick. Crossover coming in the game two with the momentum. Through. Nice interruption though. Swift thrust. 
Max amount of OP right there. So goes to the overhead. I like this way better round start from the side. It's Chun Li. Big plan from the corner here. Crossover. A lot of mid range. Ooh, great anti air. Oh, again, running it back. Y'all are calling him Jimmy. Let me put some respect on the name even more so. Jimmy on Jimmy. the Chun Li. Jimmy. I need to see Jimmy with the shimmy, man. Okay, let me find out. Let me find out. That's saying fierce, though. Trying to knock on that door. Open up. Crossover is home. Impact. It's a wrap. Yeah. Great conversion here. Oh, jumping over the level one. But, oh, hold up. It's out for quite some time. Round two. Yeah, jump. Not really working out. Unfortunate. And now the interruption. Crossing the Kickstarter. She with the jump fierce. Level one. Yeah, Jimmy cooking right now. Walk up throw. Yeah, the level one with the drive rush really covering so much ground here. Of the corner carry coming out from Jimmy. Spending that meter. Spending the money. Okay. It's a throw follow up too well. ODDP, the bust out crossover getting frustrated. I definitely understand. Ooh, Ooh that was back. With punish. Jimmy with the shimmy as you put it yeah. jimmy with the shimmy bro there's a lot of jimmy fans up in the chat this dude is ridiculous i don't think i've seen him before to the top eight spot but he is out here for a reason Ooh, okay hey jimmy is out here you'll love to see it man with the classic costume too i'm about it yeah, we're out of there Crossover has him in the corner with the throw. Stand here, starter. Hella meaty, hella meaty, no vegan. The biggest follow ups, but still. Making a lot of magic happen at this corner, but that's why Jimmy tries to strike out. ODDP puts him right back up at the corner. Overhead. Vegan snatched here. Crossover with the offense. Okay, hitting him with the shimmy back. Round up here for the side of crossover. Typical matchup because, like, you, I mean, the footsie buttons again is, is, you know, it's hard to say, but it, I mean, wild to say, but it's kind of hard for Kent in some angles. You know, Angry Board has said that this is not the most fun matchup for Kent. Yeah, her buttons being so blessed, her walks too, as well, but what does it matter? We have things like Dragon Lash, Side Switch, DP, putting you in the corner for free. Here comes the throw loops. Mm, two. Can I get three? Oh, snap. Not four, though. Impossible to get four. Okay. Oh, would have worked, too. Still blocking. Not be dropping. I get it. I get it. Backed up for the stand heavy kick. Caught the crouching medium kick. Jin Rai, the DP into level three fly. It wasn't even cut sequence. Enough damage to get the kill. Crossover will go up a game. Yo, Jimmy fans, y'all got to turn up like volume real quick right now. Crossover fans, you sit pretty right now for a little bit. Two, one. Of course, it is first to three. And th this is the part of the bracket where I'm like, yes, we got first to three. Let's go. I mean, even in top 48, we had so many amazing sets in top 48 because of that first to three. So I'm about it. Mm -hmm. Anti right there, too far out, too shallow. Crossover, stiffing it out, finding a punish. I like when people find ant like punishes against anti airs. Let people win. I think they're a little bit safe. No, mm -hmm. no potential next time. Thank you, Gap. Crossover with a check here. It's corner pressure. Playing it real safe here. Long range, folks. Ooh, and again. Calling out that answer to finding a punish. Stand fierce, drive rush. That's it. Dragon Lash. Crossover on set point against Jimmy. Chat, Jimmy needs your help, man. Send your energy, bro. Send all your energy to Jimmy. Send your Jimmy's right now. Send the Jimmy's. Jimmy Jimmy coins are a little bit low right now. <laughs> Come on, buff them up. I'm trying to see a final game. I'll be biased to see another game. Oh, of course. I mean, this is some clean Street Fighter right now. We want to see some more games. Oh, okay. To the kicks and the level one. That should do it. Going into the final round here for game four. Stocks are rising. Got up this corner. are rising. The tides are rising. Chat, I need to see the Jimmy's in the chat. I need to see the chat rising right now because we need a game five. Yeah, I'm going to game five. Real bad. Jimmy has in the corner. Walk underneath for the punish counter on the landing frames of Fortune. Spinning for a kick. Dashes in. Walks back for the crouching unit kick. But crossover down back for the down back. Not getting opened up low. Avoiding that crouching unit kick as much as possible. Ooh. Finding a whip punish against the buttons. The stand medium kick. 
is it is the shimmy for the game? Is the Jimmy shimmy for the game? Patent pending right there. The Jimmy shimmy. The Jimmy to stay shimmy. in. Mm, to stay in the game five situation, man. Jimmy, so many Jimmy fans in the chat. I love to see it. You guys are getting active out here. That's what I like to see. But right now, if he dies, he dies. All that matters is I get to see some violence in these streets. Let's go. Crossover. Yes, yes. Jimmy. We moving on OD, finally finding a bust out here. Side of Jimmy. Driver's crouching like it. I want to see more of that. When you're close to oh. driver's crouching like it is fantastic. Put the legs on too as well. Thighs. Okay, the side switch. Don't even need that corner carry. Ken got it all in those kind of situations. You can pick which corner you go to. Oh, that's standing fierce, knocking on the block there. Oh, getting out. So close. There's the anti air. Ooh. Thrust right after. Stagger stepping. Finds a jump. Fierce. That's unfortunate. That drop down is ridiculous. Downward angle is dangerous. And this is bad. Jimmy up in the corner. Drive impact. Yeah, it's a wrap. No health to play with. Crossover. About to put Jimmy down to losers. Set point for him. Yeah, we'll see if Crossover can close it out. I mean, Jimmy fighting so hard up until now. And Jimmy already in the corner, but fighting hat back, getting the counter hit. Okay, going into level one, getting as much distance as possible, not even going for the driver's gonna set up the fireball instead. Mm -hmm. Fireball swift thrust to follow up. No conversion just yet. Crossover using fireballs as pokes right here. Close with it, like kick nothing after it, but I like that poke. Perfect parry. We saw that he is a parry master. Third strike. Okay, the double dash forward. Gonna be able to squeeze out the block. Jimmy needs to get out of the corner here. Oh, what a whiff punish coming out from crossover. Okay, that right raise, the tip of the toes. Built up at the bottom, a throw. I think he parried, he did. He's gonna punish and crossover is gonna advance over Jimmy and move on in the bracket with that fantastic Ken. Great defense, great offense. Seen the night, I've never, like, of everyone we saw tonight, Jimmy definitely just riling up the chat like no other player tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, it, well, to be fair though, Ramsey came close. Maybe he didn't have fans before, but he has a lot of fans now. That's the fight against Jimmy DR. But again, and how much deep practice do you have in the DR in general? Ramsey, one of a kind too as well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people in the chat were doubting Ramsey on the geef, right? Look at this, Ramsey, winner side. Dang, another Jimmy, man. Another Jimmy. Too many Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's too powerful. I hope they don't play each other because it's going to be Jimmy versus Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happens when Jimmy has to fight Jimmy? Jimmy. Who you cheer for? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy players going to be really, are the Jimmy cheers are going to be real upset, bro. They ain't going to like this. Well, the corner driver staff just had to do it. Yeah, don't want to be put up in the corner against the likes of a grappling fan that is Ramsey or G. Wake up super, did we wait? No! With the meteorite! Great defense coming out from Jimmy here. Oh! Dang, too close. Snatch! Like, walk kick is like a good like kind of toe testing button. Testing the waters for like the footsies, but can get with that SPD if you're too close. Okay, using the armor there. Ooh, almost got the whiff punish on that. Another snatch, and that is going to be enough. Ramsey exactly when and where to use that meter to close out the round. Move down, drive rush in, rush in, right kick, no opening though. I like that from Ramsey. Push back, off the normal, but nothing after that though. Nothing big so far. His openings, nice to burn out. Putting a lot of faith on this offense. The armor break up to the face here. Side switch corner with the burnout here. Still got a lot of time to work with. Oh, the drive parry gonna preserve as much things or as much meter as possible. Missed the wake up though, but still. Oh, the rush. Yeah, Drop that conversion. Go for a reset? No. He's in the corner though. It's a level three. Drive rush is in. Okay, a level two. Either way, will seal the deal and had more sore right after that. That would have been sick. I tried to get a little stylus with it, but uh, did not work out. A little drop, but hey, you know what? Took the victory either way. Sometimes 
it's all about how well you operate in these weird scrambles, right? Not everything is going to go as planned, but, you know, the players that are able to react to the situation and really change up and understand the situation, understand the scramble, and understand what they have to do, it's so important. Mm -hmm. Watch out for Black Gladius. This command grab too, too close. Too close. Versa can operate very well in that mid range too. So. Oh dang, that reached. Wow, her drive impact distance is kind of dangerous. Cancel into the command grab off the media punch. That was a target couple. No go, Bozo. Drive rush throw. Jimmy. Now makes him feel what it's like to be up in the corner. Dang, no matter what, Jimmy always winning in this uh, in this tournament, man. Mm -hmm. fans are eating today. Oh, and this is where you don't want to be. Okay, jumping over a mid-range poke here. Come in the drive rush, not the best on Zangief, not the quickest. You say the same thing about Marissa. Yeah, this is very short from Scrapple characters. They both are pretty thirsty. And Marissa, very thirsty girl with the drive rush Oki. Here we go, the perfect pair to get that knockdown. Drive rush is in to get that corner carry. I like that. No way, no shot. You really did it to make this man drop. My loyal fans, so I find a gap. I was seeing down to the ground. Dang, and just like that, Bram's getting so much damage. I'm gonna spend everything, gonna close out. No, there's a little bit of health left here for Jimmy. Final chance with the burnout here on Ramsey. The girl, also mommy with the stand fears, puts him down. The armor, similar to Marisa, cutting through the normals. Ooh, I like the parry. Serve that block, and you can get so much drive gauge shipped away when you go ahead and block all of these mid range, especially like the finishers coming out from Marisa. Oh, oh, dang. the nasty reset, the back to back snatch here. OD, let's see what the feet on the walk back knees. Oh, nice nice challenge. He ain't living in terms of health or drive gate. He's going down. Level three wasn't even necessary. But watch the cutscene. Whoa! Jimmy, always putting on a show no matter what. Dang, that re these resets into the command grabs. Jimmy is nice with it. He really is, dog. It's dangerous because, like, you don't expect that to come through. But those are good closers, or if you want to deal with the damage, just keep those in. You see if Ramsey adjusts in my old north, not go south, and avoid that situation from happening. The grip of Muscle Mommy. Nice whip punish here. Both, both trying to glow green. Hold up. Oops, I punch to interrupt. I like that to stop the drive rush. A nice little punish. Stan Pierce trying to charge up and cook the limb preemptively. Anti is right there, perfectly spaced. Go for the crouching right kick low to open him up. He's getting the whip punish there. Oh, the armor, but it doesn't matter. The parry on deck. As he get the whip punish, he's barely out of range. Oh, going on empty here. The burnout. Brand is going to take full advantage of that. Close the gap. Oh, almost gets the whiff. Jump light kick. There we go. The three piece for the finish. All I can at least have any idea to whip punish against the Gladys. Maybe has to find a different button. Maybe Stan Pierce might work for medium punch to start the party off. Jimmy Round starts trying to get the grip. And there we go. Finally avoiding back jumping. But still gets hit with that wake up super. Jimmy, one of those Marisa players that will spin that cash. Doesn't even care about level three. All he wants to do is get a victory by grounding it back, by putting them in the corner at any means necessary. Yeah, using that meter for the reversal for the defense here, right? Be a very key thing. I like the cross up there going into the level two. We're spinning on him. Where are we taking him though? Down to the ground. Any frame kill? Oh, command grab. Oh, man. Ramsey with the lead. Oh, the armor. That's a lot of damage here. Still in burnout though. The Gladius. So good. Knees. Nice interruption. There's a gap. He knew. Oh, All in the impact. Again, on hit, maybe could have sealed it, but still went for the drive impact just in case. And Ramsey looking to move on to the finals. Finals with this yeah, key. It's not over, though. 
crazy close. Oh, we're going to start the party off right here, though. Ramsey in a bunch of that. The back to back, though? Yeah, he won't again. Grab that sweep. He's even close enough for that strike throw, bro. But still, Ramsey has to be careful that Stan Fierce. Now the whip punch coming through from Jimmy. Look at this drive gauge just completely drained on the side of Ramsey. Trying to get the jump over using the armor. Trying to create some space here. Oh, still not going to go and burn out after the OD, but it doesn't even matter because it's going to get the KO the round going to Ramsey. Jab in the OD SVD. You are too close to me. Ramsey is too close to win his finals. Drive rush in, gets a grip, punish counter. Extra damage. Almost got the stomp right there for the meaty. Was able to do it though. Jimmy able to drive on with the drive rush stand fierce. I like how he buries it up. It's either medium or drive rush stand fierce. Hella plus on that first one though. Cancel again with that grip down on some dirt. And damage. Again. Back to back after the glow, the green glow coming through, man. Some, some characters, they got to spend a little bit to have their loops, right? Mm -hmm. What is that song for? If it's not for Meteor, what is that for? Figure it out later. Awesome later. Push back on the stands. Medium doesn't commit unless he gets that counter hit. Makes sense. But it's hard to find a button against the Gladius. Oh, Frank Kill for Meteor Grab. Thank you, Chad. I never see anyone using this. So I appreciate it. Hey, there you go. Sharing the knowledge. Looking so low, that is going to be burnout here. Oh, it's a fat punish. Didn't finish it off. He's got the level three. Don't get close to me. Slap chop again. Dang, Ra Ramsey's just staying in range. Like, I'm in burnout. Don't you want to swing something? Because he's just staying right out of range for Jimmy and just wants to go for that final whiff punish. One more hit. Jimmy not working with too much health. And that is going to be it. The punish counter. Ramsey. Moving on to winner's finals with the Geef. Exactly. He was bad or weaker than Nashville that time. I'm like, that's horrible. But <laughs> that's that people who hate Kyle right now, it's insane. Bro, not the lore. Not the lore. The not lore. getting hit by the lore. <laughs> Impacting insane. the game. I was, I was so tight. I was like, why is he at? <laughs> but lore-wise, Nash is better. <laughs> well, you, you, you understand, like, this was a low part of both guys' life, so you know he's a, yeah. the Sonic Booms just ain't quite hitting like they used to, you know. Yeah, way hey. back in the day, you know, he was a beginner with the boom, so it makes sense. But now he is very strong with it. I know that guy haters now wish he was like that because he is super strong. But it takes someone like a strong pilot like Knuckles who's been playing for years to get that victory. Od, however, you're in burnout at any point. You get flash kick. Oh, he tried to find a punch against that flash kick. It didn't work. All right, so Mike X and Knuckle Dude duking it out here. Top eight loser side. We'll see who's going to move on. You know who's sitting pretty. When is finals, man? Ramsey on the Geef. I know we were harping on that. Jeez, that is just so crazy to me. Whoa. Cross up tops with that rage beats Crouch Fears. Unfortunately, your Knuckle Dude is put up in the corner. Mike harassing with the OD Fireball right after, but still. He'll be striking back. Sweep on the Geef. Mike is running this raw stuff. It's working out. Back throw. Yeah, I love the perfect carry on just meaty setups, especially when you're in the corner and the meaties are so powerful. Whenever you're able to get that position swap, sure, it's not as much damage because of the scaling of perfect carry. That is such a big deal. But another reversal throw into the corner. Hold the trade. No follow up. OD flash kick. Space up in this place. OD fireball. Cover the approach. But Mike has to be careful. He's going out. One more hit. We'll seal it. And the crouching mm. meaty kick does what it needs to do to catch him walking back. Okay, one round of peace here. Three bars on deck for both players. Okay. Got the conversions going straight in to the level three. We're immediately cashing out Mike X to burn as much drive gauge away from Knuckle as possible while getting some nice damage. Of course. I think it's Mike from Mike X though. Look at the parries. Catch him that bar, but the hit confirm off the stand heavy kick in the level three. Expeditiously has to be on that health gauge. Get a big lead. A lot of bar juice up too as well. Stand mini kick anti-air. Nice overhead for medium kick, counter hit, flash kick, knuckle do is on duty. Dang. The swiftness coming out from Knuckle Do on that game number one here. Okay, Mike X getting dirty. Getting in. Getting the shimmy, getting even more damage. Going all the way to the corner here. 
Uncle Deuce still got a ton of drive gauge to work with, but not a lot of health on the splat, though. Ooh, the OD Jinrai not going to connect. <laughs> Run DP, though, Will. He'll get the kill. Mike X running on in does not want to give up any room against his character. But Knuckle, do you see that he is willing to do his flash kicks and let him rip? That may be some data for Mike X later for some damage. We'll see. Ooh, okay. That data, I mean, that that's a that's my favorite part of any fighting game, you know, especially with these longer sets, the first of threes. When you get that data, what are you gonna do with the data? How much damage are you gonna? Are you gonna get the round win? Are you gonna get the game five win? Right? Always knowing when to cash out on all of this stuff. So we the corner, interrupts the run overhead. I like that sitting down, the maze of booms. You have to navigate these. OD will definitely help out, but not close enough. Gets a counter hit. Flash kick right after. I like that. Mike didn't block that first. Sonic knew just to not go into burnout, but it does not matter. Knuckle Dude's just going to continue on with the pressure. But Mike, very, very familiar that once you go into burnout against Guile, especially at that distance, it's uh, very, very tough, especially when you don't have too much health. So I like just these little managements, these little types of interactions that can matter so much. In this oh, that's a good drop, though. Level three. One of the things I like from Knuckle Dude also in this matchup is that when he sees a parry come through, he goes for the drop overhead or throw or low. Either way, he's not just letting the blues build up that ball over there from the side of Mike. Use his OD to get in. Heavy toss. Not enhanced, but that's enough for a lot of corner carry. Okay, there's the tick throw. Knuckle still in the corner here. We got two. Can I get three? Oh, he said no because the flash kick is coming, man. All right, all right. I'll, I'll keep here. I'll, I'll stay in the commentary seat, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, don't worry, I got it. I got it a lot, though. Even out. Uh, yeah, I wonder who put Knuckle Dude into losers. I'm not sure. He did start the top eight into losers here. So I'm curious to see. Who it was crossover. Him down. Oh, you're right. See, I have Game five, I believe. It was very close. Was definitely yeah, what am I the, talking uh... about? <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> hey, man, there was a lot of sets, man. There was a lot of sets, and all of them were first to three. So it, I, I understand how it could be like this, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's been a long night. All right, Chad. It's been a long night, yes. <laughs> Especially after the Jimmy sets, man. The Jimmy oh, yeah. Saka. Jimmy Saka is ridiculous. I like that arc. Yeah, we had the Ken arc in the beginning, if you guys missed that. And then we got the Jimmy arc. Might be the arc of defeat here for some people who's been doing a lot of TNSs. For some people, they're like, all I ever see is Knuckle to get that victory, but not now. Unless drive impact right back. Burnout, let me hit you this level one. Sash with the corpse hop. Jump or crouch fierce, delete the jump fierce off the table. Okay, Mike navigating around these sonic booms is going to be in the burnout. Doesn't want to take too much chip here. Will it? He has to. In specific ranges, comes in with the drive rush, but no, I see the gap coming in with the flash kick. OD. Around his knuckle, dude. Wait, the drive rush, yeah. Now, after like three booms, it seems, but Mike X. Still pairing, still getting the crushing medium kick. Oh, he had the counter hit right after the commitment, so we're gonna throw. Nothing not gonna wait too much time on the throw loop. Just gonna throw out the OD flash kick immediately on that first one. Gonna get out of the corner, get some damage in, and now gonna get his own pressure on here in the corner. Crash fierce anti right there. That's punishable, but not a big one here from the side of my gags. Activation, level two situation, baby booms. Why is it jumping still and the gin right? Level three. Was it the cutscene though? Look well, at the DP follow-up. Yeah, not a lot of damage. Oh man, in burnout, this is going to be so much chip damage with the level two. Man, I mean they're getting a lot of damage there. And the push into the corner for the driving back, but not able to finish. Can you finish your play? I guess like Okay, there we go. I was about, I was about to say. But did you see how he used the level two to push him to the corner? Mm -hmm. It wasn't about getting all that chip no dip all the way. It's about pushing him and pulling him to the corner. And kind of got him there with the normal Swiss Mode you can need. Knuckle Two's chip sequences are insane. He is on game point. Yeah, just so calculated. I mean, getting you get a little bit of that chip, but you also can set up a situation where it's like, okay, if I get the drive impact into the wall flat for game, then it's perfect, right? I mean, Knuckle Dude just like was barely off. Of, I just dropped the last combo there, but impressive stuff nonetheless. Just so calculated for this player. Like that whip punish against the stand heavy kick. Finds a super meaty flash kick. Waits for that cross up to happen. OD fireball. He's able to stand fierce. The DP. 
Better walk back, but nothing too swinging. Ooh. Okay, great reaction to the dragon last there. Dang. <laughs> Careful now, that is punishable. OD flash kick. Okay, both in burnout. Knuckle Dude has no bar for the OD, but he called it out. He knew what he wanted to do. That's how we see the jump in come through, and Knuckle Dude on set point. Mike did not finish the target combo there. Maybe just not having faith. Maybe just a little nervous, but the drivers are going to get blocked here. Big opening here for Mike. Okay, going to get the shimmy on the grab here. The OD Genrai going to get some loops in. Throw the some of the buttons. OD. Have to carry right after that minus Ooh. situation. You see that continuously. Minus something, go for the parry right after. Take your turn right back, and just like that, Mike with the perfect KO, with the rebuttal, with the return over C. Is he not done yet? It seems he's cooking up in his corner. Got three oh. bars on deck as well, but Knuckle Dude just gonna cash out instantly into that level one, get that nice health lead here, and coming in for the pressure with the drive rush after the Sonic Boom. Ooh, I like that, canceling that drive rush. Oh, but this what this time Mike trying to find his way out of the corner. Just gonna go for the side switch in to the level three. We're spending it all. Yeah, get that bar right back. Put yourself back in the green with your Mike X. This is good. Yeah, I'm gonna it too as well. Oh, you thought it was gonna be a drive rush? Stay sucker free. Oh, and of course we wait, we parry, we wary, we punish in Mike X with those gin rise and the DP puts it to game point both players. Damn. Yeah, staying clean all the way till the end, getting that drive parry on the level one there. Great stuff, great management from Mike, and also getting the conversion at the very end too to seal the deal. We got a game five situation. That jump fears. Making the most out of these corner plays. As soon as I say that, Woody flash kick actually works out. That stand meter kick also is like at a perfect range where maybe it's stopping fireballs preemptively, and also making up what you think about like if I'm gonna, he's gonna jump in. Yeah, see, he's trying to go for that stand meter kick again. Flash kick as a whip punch gets a stand heavy kick. Woo. These two pieces are starting to add up, and look at that drive gauge looking real low here. This conversion coming out from Knuckle Do. Save the bar, though. Crouching meter kick. Clipping him low. Mike's in a bad way. Oh, just yet. Yeah. Dominant with those anti-airs right there. Stand meter kick. Flash kick, it don't matter what it is. Knuckle Dude, again, is on Knuckle Dude. Set point. Dang. Knuckle Dude opened up the anti air menu. He's like, which one am I going to use for this approach? And gets it every mm. single time, man. Very impressive stuff. Yeah, we might need to see more of that cross up Tatsu. That was fantastic. That was a really yeah, yeah. sick option. I guess it was anti airs, but let's see if it works out. Oh! Oh, Mike, I'll take that trade. I'm driving right back in again. There's the opening Mike X needs here. Staying alive in this game five. Needs to get this round, or he's gonna have to pack it up. Top eight losers here. This level three is going to hurt. Are you gonna survive? Yes, you are. Mike X looking like the fragile type. You might get packed up softly. No health, no drive gauge, and no life to give the fourth medium kick to Sobato to seal the deal. Knuckle do three, two. But yo, Mike X, you crisp with it. You can light punch, stand medium punch. All those are really good at checking and challenging the green side on the screen. See who takes it between the two. JB, shine, loser side. Okay, gonna slide right under the fireball here. We're gonna get started, JB versus shine. Okay, gonna go for the OD fireball there, but not gonna be enough to kicks. Going into, oh, back to back here. Walking back is Shine. That fireball kind of problematic. You have to like OD fireball back at him, a normal fireball, but that may be a call out and they might jump in. And this walk speed coming out from Chun. I mean, Chun definitely known as one of the better characters when it comes to that neutral game. Walk speed in general, mobility, going to be a fantastic stat to have for neutral, alongside with some very blessed buttons. The corner OD though as a reversal the ten show kick OD coming through to save the day for Shine. Yeah, and that that ten show kick is going to be so important, right? Having that reversal or just being able to have a little bit more offense in terms of these mixed scenarios that Rashid has. Yo, Bossy Joey coming through. I see. You. Thank you so much for the fifty. God dang, hey. that's what I like to see. We said two hundred. You went over. 
above and okay. beyond. Or close to 200 wins. But the fact that you put them 50, bless you. Let's get these players paid out, man. I, that's what I like to see. These players always putting on a show for us here every week at TNS. And I want to see the pot be nice and juicy for them. Mm -hmm. So it's our one of the best level twos in the business. Double shimmy. No bite, though. That get open up, but there's a low. I lied. Enhanced Mixer does not get the pickup, still has some cough in the corner, but Shine finds a way out with that crouching kick starter in to super level two for that corner carry to the west side of the screen. Oh, Almost a spinning for a kick right after. Okay, hold up now. Okay, I mean, which, which variation, right? Oh, Shine over Mixer there. Three legs. He's out of there with that jump medium. Okay, impact right back. Shine bet a lot on that. Now is in burnout in the corner here. We are back. WSR. <laughs> Come on, so I can have two. No drive impact, though. He's able to get a hit and a throw, but blocks it out. Oh, man, but you're caught up in the blender still. The tech throw does not connect. Finds a jump in. JV gets the win with the Eagle Spike follow up. And that was such a great situation for JV. JV could play a little bit of a little bit risky with the drive impact, even though got punished was still JV's turn at the end of when everything was said and done, right? <laughs> oh man, here's a super though. Look at that big pickup. Put him right up with the corner. See that corner pressure though. Potential kick, follow up right after it. Serenity stands the low. JV just simply jumps out, and I like that. Take the safer option. Might have got hit with the 10 show for leaving, but he'll take that damage and not be there. Fight back here, goes for the drive parry. Nice, gets the tech as well. Great defense coming out from Shine. All sides under. Ooh, <laughs> one of those punishable. Okay, three. Send level two. My win condition, literally my win condition. However, it's a size with the jump out, the cross up. Speeding break kick, frame kill, yeah, hella meaty. That throw follow up though, you allow Shine to thrive. I mean, sorry, JB. Grab just being barely out of frame there. Dang, and Shine just with the positioning again that walks in so strong. She need to kick Shine to find a hit. Careful, I could be seeing a whip punish in the future for Shine. Oh, the predictions. Great anti air. I have to dash back here. What a counter challenge. See the crouch move kick follow up. Sets up for the fireball. Has for the drive reversal. But you know what? That's not a bad way to play right here. Kill some of that drive gauge for JV. You're fine with that. Ooh, okay. Nice corner carry with the double dash afterwards. JV trying to find his way out. Goes for the dash back. Spacing. Stamp fears. No follow up though, nothing significant. Maybe OD might have reached, I'm not sure. But this is bad here for Shine. He thrown out. Only have a super team name for a reversal as a rebuttal. Hex a throw. All right, swift thrust. Crouching medium kick gets the hit. It should be it, yeah. Super machine kick. Mason gonna close out that round. And man, it is crazy the amount of setups that you can get for like some of these guaranteed chip scenarios, man. Leave them in the corner, that's where you're going to really be able to work with this character. Especially when you have them in burnout. You don't even notice it too. It's like, hey, I've blocked all this and I've lost so much. If you don't block, you just get hit. Tech, okay, there's the OD coming over. Getting the connection here and Shine, this defense is getting eaten up. But oh, okay, I'm going to refund all of that. The side switch, the throw. The bar. Oh no! The OD DP did not work out. The level three, no. Empty low with the crouching light kick starter again. That button is blessed. I love seeing Chun Li players maximize it to full effect. Level three connects. I should say, CA. Yeah, see you next round. Just like that. That was so clean coming out from Shine. One opportunity is going to be enough. That's all it takes. Expensive spin, but you'll do that to stay in the game. And it's so closer to game point. Ooh, wrong cancel. Okay, and set up the level two, of course. Straight in the corner to get right to the point. Oh, and the reversal. That was great stuff. Kind of disarming that situation. At the very end, too, as well, to make sure that he wasn't stuck 
in the tornado. It's an offense though. And you finish it off against JB. JB trying to go up to that bar for another Yasar. We'd love to have it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Close up for that follow up. Oh, just gonna back up. Yep, set up another level two. Trying to fight back with the OD fireball. There's the parry. Oh my goodness. Great air time. throws? No way he found an option to air throw to call out the flip kick, but it might be a try. <gasps> I get the follow up the drop. Oh, bro, he kept me having those. Oh, no. JB not able to find the fish to get that chip. No dip either way. Oh my god, he had the kill. He had the kill. True pain. True pain. But it's okay. I mean, it's just one game here. A lot of time for Shine to thir turn things around. First to three here. Top eight, loser side. Maybe okay, punch Trey, gets a crouching medium kick right after. JP is relentless. Grand kill with the crouching medium punch. Yes, hello. Medium and plus. Never Shine works his way out, gets some Oki. Crouch fierce, the follow up though. Too far out for it. Fight back here in burnout, going into the level one. Gonna buy some time, buy some space here. Oh, the perfect parry. Gonna be close enough. It's one hit, but not too much in terms of positioning wise. He's able to drive rush. Actually, able to find something <gasps> in the back door. And also finds a crouching need to kick low. JB using that button a little bit more often, even in trade scenarios, and it's working out. Grab here, setting up the level two in the corner as well. Overhead, open up. Daddy's home. OD. That follow so up too as well. We got that uh, down to the ground. Two H, two heavy punch. I should say. One more opening going into the burnout, trying to keep the situation in the favor. Goes for the side switch here. Giant. Having one last opportunity, goes for the wall jump. It's enough to get out of the corner here, and JB still has a lot of health to work with. Watch it for damn dear life. Almost got him with the overhead. In the corner, impact, lands. Still alive. Even if this was the level three, still survive. See the reset. The Jag will take that trade. Okay, JB up 2 1 here. See if JB can close it out 3 1, or if we get a game five with Shine. Kill. OD right back at him with a 10 show. There's a connection here. And I'm trying to poke out with the crouching medium. Let's find a connection though. Spinning bird kick. It's another one. The meaty. Oh, we're spending it up here. All this damage. The super like the stomps. If you low, did not finish the combo though. Went for the throw. Slides underneath, sweep off the feet, takes a throw. JB can still do this. We like to build a bar for level two to really maximize and in this world, just get the OD. Only one for oh. the halal. Oh, OD though. Round two. Fight. Oh my god. What a bust out. Don't okay, pressure. All there. the way to the left. Getting these uh, low connections, but trying to go for the tick throw here. Level two getting set up from JB, going straight in. The tornado still coming through here. That's oh my pain. goodness. What the happened to your drive wise. gauge? Brother, the tornado, the spinning mixers, the damage getting dumped out too as well. Now he's all opened up. Try to get oh. that drive impact. No gaps, so back throw. Perfect parry. Oh, he's still going in, trying to get the overhead for the reset, but this should be the win, Super Machine Kick. Not oh. enough? No, it's not enough. He's burnt out though. It's chip. No, he's back. Shine's good. Okay, Shine does have a bunch of drive gauge, but immediate anti-air with the jump light. JB closing that round out. Need kick, but no follow up. Not the proper one. JB takes advantage. Okay, okay. Playing patient. We've got the neutral here. Throwing out some pokes. Okay, but now it's Rasheed, JB in the corner. We're doing this corner pressure. I mean, okay, but fighting out. Conversion into the level two off the lights. 
for the Oki. ODDP knew that if he was going for Oki, he might want to take the advantage or press the advantage to try to bust out. Shine with a rebuttal on his wake up. Jump fierce. Crouch fierce as a meaty. Pretty good option. Yeah, because it's Rain Stance cancel right there. I like that from Shine. Okay, finding the opening, but goes into the burnout. It's all right, though. We got to spend a lot of time here. Got the level two to back up and install so much, but this is, yeah, guaranteed drive reversal there. Nice. Got the punish counter heavy kick. Heavy mixer. Probably follow up, though. JP. He found a hit confirmed a super machine kick. Are you kidding me? Crouch Fierce had that out ready. Did that level one in a steadily. The Jimmy Art continues here in top eight. Jimmy <laughs> You're right. It, it's, it's not ending, man. It's not ending. But Knuckle D trying to get an arc of his own, man. This loses bracket run. Did start top eight in the, the loser side of things. Crossover was able to get that victory over Knuckle D. A down kick still. I like that. Three off the table. Perfect parry says Knuckle D against that driver Stan Fierce. We talked about that, buddy. He's got something for him. And the positional pinch. A lot of room. Sweep off the feet. Sweep the legs. Okay, just waiting here. Oh, get the jump over. Great defense coming out from Knuckle Dude. Oh, getting the jump in off his own here. Contact virus. Very important. Found the right angle, too, as well. He's going to die. Travis got some medium kick. That's it. He's lows. You're worried about throw, overhead, or low. A lot of ops from the side of his character as he tries to uh, drive in. What? Ooh, what a neutral jump. Damn. So at that distance with neutral jump, heavy kick, that's actually super sick. Dude, god damn. Got the matchup knowledge on a deck here. Jimmy getting the hands dirty. And the command grab in. Got Knuckle Dude pretty close to the corner here. There's Superman Punch pushing Knuckle Dude even farther back. Using these parries to hold the ground. Reversal. This is base. Out the blade, now, even the Superman punch landing, the blade's out for a little bit too long. Flash kick, it's almost it's gonna go for the level one of all things. He has level two as well. So he tries to burn him out first before he gets to level two. He'll just go in. Plus, rip situation with the same heavy kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's chip. It's gonna be definitely the way, bro. That was so much chip damage initially. And then from there, Knuckle Dude immediately backs up because he just knows that in burnout, in that situation, most players are gonna wanna jump there. Great anti air with that sand. Jimmy off to a better start. Backs away. OD this time, but Knuckle Dude holding parry to keep that bar as much as possible. And you see him backdash to avoid the Superman punch and not get clipped by it. Okay, I lied. That one was all about time. Oh, okay. Getting the punish counter up too on that drive parry. It was Where worth the go? burnout. I was about to go up to get that kill. For sure. Dang, reaction's on point there, kick the Superman jump with the OD flash kick. Once again, just spacing out perfectly in all of these scenarios. That could be showing that he's got the chops for this matchup. Here, Tomo gets a knockdown nice and close. So I get that throw though. Jump back away from danger. You're a stranger. Don't touch OD for the knockdown. Okay, the perfect parry is just slowly coming in the gap, but you got to watch out for the normals too. Drop our throw again. We talked about this. Set up the sonic booms and switch it up. Instead of buttons, get a grip. Especially with that drive work, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a snatch. Not to do in the corner here, fighting back with the lights. Oh, jumping over perfect, and the driver versus to stay in the corner. Oh, into the upside down kick. Got it with the Gladius. Medium, no conversion. Yeah, you want to do that on hit or with some bar to make sure it's safe as possible. You want to see the driver versus come out and knuckle do. Oh, no bait. I was wondering if Jimmy's going to go for like a bait, but uh, maybe that would work out. Maybe he's going to go for the crutches once it's going to happen. And right now, level three is happy to sign a knuckle do to build up that bar on his side of the Jimmy's able to connect one hit, could go right into the level three. That could be everything, and that is the CA on deck as well. So, just for extra measure. OD! Another driver! Is it burnout this time? Back it up. 
Oh yeah, it is minus eight. You can't bait it. You're right, you're right. We can go medium punch and then see what happens after that. Like, just stagger for a little bit. Okay, both players burnt out here. Try to find one opening. Oh, the chip. Gonna be enough. Knuckle Dude putting two on the board here. Jimmy gonna need a lot of games to survive in this loser's bracket here. That is Muscle Mommy, though. She can make that fun happen. She got the damage, she got the command grabs. You just have to alternate this offense a little bit better and not be on defense. You see this character get blown up. I like that. Gladius, OD flash kick right back as a rebuttal. Okay, going in the burnout. Is it worth it? Oh, still need one more hit. The mix for game, not going to connect. There's the anti air coming out from Knuckle Dude. Careful. Superman punch white clip some of these boos. Me. He's actually still going in, even in burnout. Against the burnout of Jimmy, I should say. Impact was the play. Yeah, no health for a rebuttal, so not a bad idea. Yeah, not going to be able to drive impact. Have some other options nonetheless, but great job, Jimmy. Closing out that round there. He's a charge. Recovery. OD cuts through? Yeah, the gas, bro. OD again, or even the normal one, the normal Gladius, I should say. He's doing fantastic. Close range Gladius is working out a lot here for Jimmy. Ooh, okay. Now in burnout here, this is going to be a little bit tougher. Standing medium and going right in to the level two. Stay away. Throwing out one. Mm -mm -mm. Especially in the burnout, we see Knuckle Dude usually opt for that level two in the burnout. It's a very powerful super in that situation. Exactly. Jimmy now in burnout, that's in heavy kick. Not that bad though. He does have level three, could equalize or, you know, put Knuckle Dude down with it if he finds the right conversions. My combos. She like kick, knockdown. Heavy. Oh man, for heavy kick, I should say. And there is the Gladys, the toe tackle. Take that trade. Put two in the corner. Look at all this drive gauge available. Using oh. the level three to close the gap, though. Not necessarily for the damage, but that will do as well. So Jimmy getting on the board here versus Knuckle Dude. I, I like these traits. I guess these fireballs. You'll take that if you have the health to play with. The toe tap, crouching medium punch too as well are decent trades. To put him in the corner or close to the corner. And then he's like, all right, do that Sonic Boom. I dare you. I got something for you. It's that level three. Jimmy, putting some games on the board. He's making it happen. Right, let's see if Knuckle Dude can close this out. Dang, flash kick on reaction. Keep the Marissa out. I don't want nothing to do with it. Really don't. That flash kick has so much range. I'm very tip with it. Yeah, that horizontal range. I did not think I had the range to hit that. But dang. Let's see back in the day. You should jump that and call it out, bro. Yeah, these reactions are not going to happen. What's not going to happen right now is the return of so Jimmy is on the back foot. Too much drive rush, too many lows and overheads and things like that. And too many jumps are getting knocked off the table. You have to try to jump against this character every so often, but Double Dude's anti are on point. Great push punish. Good punish counter there. The mid range going up and over here. It is enough to get close. And that is going to whiff though, Knuckle Dude with another punish and a good amount of health off. And there's not too much drive gauge on the side of Jimmy, which means you already know, level two. Let's get rid of that drive gauge real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's jump over. Be able to save his bar, but no other health to play with right now. No health to give at this point, and that's the end. Falls the Sun across Fireball. Knuckle Dude, 3 1 over Jimmy. Moving on the bracket, one Jimmy down. That's not you. That's not you, though, right, Chad? That's not you. That's not yeah, you. ain't no way there's fake Jimmy fans in the chat. No way. Impossible. So Jimmy, loser side, along with JB. JB already taking out Shine here. He definitely knows the matchup, has that experience, but we'll see if Jimmy can bring a different cut to this matchup here in top eight, loser side. Overhead, and we get the heavy punch mixer. Cyclone light kick, of course, that fall with the E spike. JB ever optimal with this character. Oh, Aaron coming through. I see you. Oh, that's definitely a Jimmy fan right there. Yeah. Hey. 
Dang, the real Jimmy fans are coming out. Dang, man. Honestly, bless up to those who contributed. I appreciate everybody that's done so. Thank you. Thank you. It's a team effort. Always is. Always is. It's a village uh, match up the match right? Yes, sir. Ooh, okay. Starter. Just like Andrew doesn't want to spend any more ball with that drive gauge. I like that. The level to Yasar. Push to the corner. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh not gonna get the punish though. Could have got the side switch and everything, but man, that's a huge drop on the side of Jimmy. To throw, media comes, media punch, and burnout is bad. Drive impact, yes. He waits for a little bit. Lost for to build up some more drive gauge. In hand, and Ryan, why did coming through with the three? I see you. Thank you so much. That's the end. What a conversion coming out from JB. Had to spend a little bit, but of course, completely worth it. Gonna get that game number one. Let's see, going to game number two here. If Jimmy got some adaptations, Let's see if we got them on a deck here. Already, JB starting things off hot. Beautiful overhead once again. Bless the endowment again after the frame kill. So David, hella meaty too as well. Back throw here from the side of Jimmy. Has a cop in the corner, drive rush. Crunching line kick, trying to find a follow up. Punish counter, might have been a DP. There's the OD. Some space here. Okay. Crushing medium kick, gonna connect, but nothing to convert. Not gonna go into the drive rush. And again, getting the stun in the corner with the drive impact. And JB gonna show off this conversion game. He's nice with it. Man, JB kind of speed running Jimmy, man. Straight X trying to dump in a ton, uh, 20, so Jimmy is like, okay, there's more. I got you. Peter coming through with the five. Thank you so much. I see you. Yassar is out in the power. Kill that drive gauge. Jobias with the Ooh. five. Okay, we got the chat true combo. Hold up. The Macharino combo. I need to see the chain reaction, chat. The we'll chain reaction. Yeah, don't drop it, chat. Don't drop it. What a cross-up button. Stay medium punch across the button. Sweep off the feet as a whip punish. Get that knockdown. Leave the corner, but back to mid-screen. Jimmy's A-OK. -okay. They get that Oki. Dash in. Blocks the jab, but he's crouching light kicks every so often. I've been opening him up. Yeah, just racking up that damn great anti-air. Going into the light pressure here. Crouching medium kick. Okay, great conversion all the way to the corner here. Gonna get a trade. Gets the jump out. He went to the area right there. I think he went for jump fierce, but he's got clip. Still gets hit off the crouching medium kick and the spinning bird legs will finish it off, man. Jimmy, okay, he's still in. He's still in. He's locked in. No Noah. Everyone in the chat giving Jimmy power. Yeah, if, if you're Jimmy, you obviously don't want JB to go up 2-0 in this situation, but there's the level two. The situation so hard to defend against Rashid here. Grab whiffing. That's super. That pick up a force. Hits with the 10 show kicks. Drive rush overhead. Oh, he goes for the low instead. JV blocks out the sequence right after it. The throw right after it. Ooh, Ooh, the interruption. And Zach Strom. I can't read that last part. Clayson? 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 Somewhere? Clayson. There we go. Getting in with that three. Thank you so much. Any amount helps, guys. Any amount to the match arena. You already know. We got the raid, too. Dang, everyone's coming through. Sad heat, oh, man. The side switch. Oh, the mix. Oh, Didi, you can't even see me with that mix. Oh, man, JP. Now you have to deal with that level two. And there's a lot of drive gauge on the side of Jimmy. You can block a lot of this coming through here. Jab, jab. You're in burnout. This is bad. Jimmy can definitely make the return over C. Definitely put him through hell. I'm going to start, yeah, with the Zachu starter. Got the legs to his the chip out and hits him with the fireball. He's like, I ain't going to fall. I'm not done yet. We're game to game right now. Dang, all right, chat. Chat sending Jimmy all the energy is possible. They're trying to keep Jimmy alive in this Follow top eight, lead. man. Oh, we got the sub, too. Let's go. Turk coming through. That. Yeah, dropping that uh, tier one. Yo, Jimmy fans are coming through quick with it. So is Jimmy. Look at that. Already getting that side switch. I right, get back that shit from JB. Now slips in a crouching medium kick. Can I get that corner carry? This mini bar. Yeah, medium mixer is A-OK -okay to do so. Catching the jump. I like that. Rain kill, okay. Right into the meaty here. Great defense coming out from Jimmy. Standing the ground here. 
Inching forward, but there's the grab, and it's going to be enough. JB getting this first round. Chancing with that crouching medium kick, but I feel like Jimmy could lock onto that and whip punish it later on. JB might have to hide that attention a little bit more as a set lingers into the super level one. All right. Fireball's out. Air to air right there. Dang. Yeah, and again, I think that was jump fierce or jump medium, but it's getting uh, clipped continuously. Yeah, and I think Jimmy has the right idea or the right read, but it's not. I mean, J JB Button just kind of beating him out there. Going in to the level three and the 50 bomb. Bossy Joic, let's go. Appreciate you. That's a hundred you've already dumped in. Dang. My man is burnout. about it. Yeah, he's really about it. JB about this burnout life, though. Gap. Level one cuts through. Plus. Backed up. Maybe couldn't get the heavy mixer out. We can get that drive Ooh. impact. Yeah, that's flat. I was like, maybe there's enough distance here for Jimmy, but you're going to eat all this damage. You should get up with some drive gauge here, but the low mix isn't going to be enough. You got so much to spend. Of course, JP going to close that game three out. No problem. Again, in the corner, it's Mix City. I mean, it's like a bartender. It's hard Dang. because the damage isn't a lot. It's just the fact that he it just adds up, right? The fact that he's able to build all this bar at the bottom too as well to get the Nassars continuously. And this crouching medium kick has been dangerous for side of Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Back in the corner, Jimmy. Trying to fight their way out. Ooh, I like that. All oh, the punish counter on the drive parry. Gets the tap, but still in the corner here. That medium kick. Oh, walking in. Oof. Again, though, the crouching medium kick with the drive rush right after. Follow up, Shell Pierce, level one. Yeah, Jimmy willing to split this bar to get this corner push. Drive impact, almost at the tip. Oh man, what a whip punish on the handshake there. Get that out of here. Oh, we want to be plus all day. Oh yeah, this is what right here. Windy City from the side of JB. And again, chipping through that drive gauge. Got hit, that should be it. Oh, D. Eagle Spike, it's almost good night for the side of Jimmy. Another six dollars. Shamsy? I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go, Shamsy. Six dollars. We're coming through. You guys are coming through as the chat always do here at TNS. You guys are contributing to the pot. Exclamation mark match you know. And right now, Jimmy in trouble, man. JB's offense running too good. I see Jimmy in the corner, this left corner, way too often. On his way out. Back, though. Yeah, fighting back. Let's go to the back dash. That's a throw, though. The dash up. Level two is out. Parry could be the option. You just push him out of that, and then he's going for the throw right after. So it is difficult to just simply go for the parry. Pass off that throw. You saw the fake out off the low. The mix. Once again, man, it's like a bartender. And Jimmy is not sober enough to stay solid. JP31. So tonight, I hope you guys stick around for the rest of the show because the bracket's not over yet. Looks like up next we got Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey versus Crossover. Let's go. Crossover was able to get the W over Knuckle Dude on the winner's side to get into top eight. So Crossover just getting so stacking up these Ws, man, against a lot of great players. Oh yeah, you know yeah he knows this matchup, bro. Crossover gonna have to show him something different. And I wonder once again how many times we get to fight a G for this caliber. Drive rush back throw puts him in the corner. Doesn't matter who you are in the corner is bad, but unless you're Ramsey lands the SPD. Driver's forward, trying to get the sweep. ODDP off the feet. Overhead lands, and he gets it meaty enough to get these follow-ups. Big conversion here. Okay, going for the reset. Oh <laughs> my god. OD lands after the low. Ramsey has been working in this corner, which is problematic for this character usually, but the way that he's playing these reads, like a librarian, my friend. Ramsey is playing hot tonight. I mean, already in winner's finals with the Geef. That's a, that's a pretty tough task, nonetheless. Uh, I think it might be a first time here for DNS. Might be. That's a throw, though. What's his defense looking like, Ramsey? Oh, it's good. Yeah, I get some fireballs. You can't do that. Ramsey said, watch this, asshole. Right back in the corner you go. Now it's my turn to run the corner pressure here. Crossover. Fighting back, though, going into the level three. I like this. Also, we're going to equalize things a little bit more. Ooh, and it's the CA, too. Okay, 
We've got a carry on the fireballs. All right. I'm going to say as close as possible to keep his drive gauge healthy. Oh, clean with punish on that crouching medium there. In the snatch. Back throw up in the corner you go. Bar all built up. Oh, he tried to go for the raw stuff. So recovered. What's going on? Oh, my God. Two whips on some rips, and that's it. Crossover is not going to let that happen again. Yeah, that, that second one, if that second one's connected. <laughs> Almost though, Ramsey. I mean, in those situations, sometimes you have to take those big guesses when you're rocking these grappler characters here. With the target combo here off the medium kick. Perfect. Very. Off the button. Got the back throw. Did we bait? Yeah. And we go for the optimal stuff. Okay, can we finish the combo this time? That's much better. The nasty stuff. The drop kick. I don't even know if that's like the optimal amount of damage. I'm not actually sure, but still. It does have him right where he wants to. Does he have to chase him around the screen? Just Ken and Zangi in the corner. Not going to be too much fun here for Ken. Running a little low on that drive gauge. Also running a little low on that health right now. Ramsey really continuing this pressure with the... Oh my goodness. Doesn't matter. The back throw, yep. Going to be enough. The frustration. You can feel it with that OD DP. And the rotation with the defensive option is just not working out. Offensive for the sound of Ramsey with that drive reversal continuously to put him in the corner. We smart stuff. Ramsey up a game. Yeah, I mean, this is the whole entire time. Ramsey has been fighting quite a bit of meta characters. So definitely not just uh, coming through here, kind of fluking his way to winner's finals. Ramsey had to beat a ton of amazing players and amazing characters to get here. And still continuing that momentum here. Up 1-0 here on crossover on the Ken. Small things. Ramsey said he don't feel like this matchup's that bad for him. It doesn't look like it's that bad. Command grab lands up in the corner. In burnout. This is bad. Dash up. Countering target to drive impact. We're too greedy and needy. Should have went for the simple stuff right there. Okay. All damage. Burnout is going to be over pretty soon here. Tries to get the drive impact. Goes into burnout himself here. Crossover. A chance. Zangief with not too much resources here. Oh! <laughs> What's resources to this load of this SDE, bro? What's what's resources if I get my grip? All right. Randy Come here. Just wants one thing. Just wants one thing. Where my hog at? Kind of guy. Three fly though. Crossover trying to get that lead. Gotta avoid him at farms. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I can give him mess. He's he's the homie. He can hold that. Crossover making him hold all this pressure too as well. Okay, in the corner here. Man, I, you see the amount of respect Crossover has for Ramsey, even when he has him in the corner, right? So, like you were saying, I mean, Ramsey pretty comfortable in this matchup. Obviously, Ken's still a very strong meta character, but Ramsey looks like he's got all the counter and all the tricks to the character. Heavy kick driver. Medium, you're too mm. close. You're mm. too damn close, my loyal fan. Return to the stands. Ramsey. The line. That's good night. Ramsey. He's on game point to move on to grand finals. Chicago's own about to seal the deal. But it's not over yet. Crossover can still fight back. Just has to be careful about these gaps. Ramsey's going to take advantage and taking everything that he can off of perfect parries, off of anything that's given to him. Side switches to. Yeah, great stuff for Ramsey, and you saw Crossover respecting Ramsey so much in the corner, and the reason why, well, right when Crossover tried to get close to 30, the level 3 for Ramsey to do so much damage, and end out that game number 2, Ramsey up 2-0 right now, and this Ooh. round is looking pretty good, it's not enough though. Around the world. One more touch impact, yeah, that's a wrap. Ramsey on set point. I can't believe this. Ramsey is really cooking. The drive impact, the chop coming through. And one more round for Ramsey to be sitting. Winner side, grand finals. That level two is on the deck. That means he can't throw out a fireball. He's hunting, he's fishing for it. The drive rush into the light. Very common approach here. Coming out from Ken. Does get the connection, but does not go for the full extension here. <laughs> 
that Fierce again. Too close to him. Range. Bro, so well do not send out a fireball. Don't send out a fireball. I'm begging you. You want to do it as a poke, but you can't. You just, you just can't. You can't even send out a stand light kick or a crunk or stand heavy kick because light kick will connect. All but level two will connect either way in the conversion. He's got the level one that'll get it done. Ramsey! Grand finals of TNS puts crossover to rest for right now. I cannot believe this man with loyal fans. We'll do it in many grand finals here at TNS. So wouldn't be surprised if he's able to make it there. We'll see if he can get through JB. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello? Yo, Anyone maybe, there? Uh, maybe we have to. Uh, let me put the kid to bed real quick. Hold on, now, hold on. Now. Yo, shout out to JB with the respect, man. He's like, Yo, I, I don't want to fight until you're there, you know? Personally, me, I wouldn't. Know. But Dang, man. he different. You, you, you really out on the streets, huh? Yes, I am. With that 300 plus dollars? Yes. Yes. I want the lion share. Yes. It's a Capcom Cup champion. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Catch you lacking, man? Mm -hmm. Not on these streets. Not on these streets. You're going to get punished. I'll try that strap on you. Oh, fly strap. Nice. Get that right there. Not going to do it. That perfect range. Ooh, okay, great counter hit here. Gonna convert, gonna spend everything. Yep, don't even need to go down into the super meter. It's gonna spend that drive gauge, close out with the OD flash kick. So gonna, uh, gonna take that round one. Yeah, it's kind of a weird matchup. I feel like the Sonic moves are kind of difficult to deal with. It's been OD bar. You get in, you get real nasty. Yasar definitely helps to close that gap too as well, as it does in damn near every single matchup. OD gets a knockdown though. A box still got hit. Spike follow up, some damage, Medi medium punch. Yeah, it was interesting. Knuckle Dude was down to just walk up to the level two and just block it just to kind of get it over with. It's level three. No, if it's gonna be enough, it's not CA. Oh, yeah, not even close. Might well be, though. Look at that drive gauge. The depleted right now. Has to hold that parry. Careful of the anti. Oh, falls to the Sonic Boom. He moved the screen so he fell on the Sonic Boom. You so nasty, Knuckle Dude. Knuckle Dude takes the first victory. Dang, Knuckle Dude moving the screen too. Dang. Yeah, the names are switched, by the way. So uh, we get that sort of. This, yeah, oh, there we yep. go. Knuckle Dude. Oh. Yeah, on the guy. He is not a none of a sheep player. He could be, but he's not. They are not reverse man. Mm -hmm. Man, imagine. <laughs> that would be very fun. JB would love that. He'd be a better character, but still. <laughs> JP's machine. When he gets going with the phone, it's still nasty. Hardest, hardest stop. Nice sweep off the feet. It's a knock depth. Yeah, and I mean, we saw JB really be able to run the offense, right? In the last two uh, matches that JB had to play in terms of matchup was against Chun Li. And we saw that JB was able to get so many neutral interactions right into the corner carry, but Knuckle Dude not even giving JB that situation off the wall. Crush there. Great stuff. Knuckle Dude holding his own and not giving Rashid that opportunity. Yeah, that's the way to play, preventative health. An apple a day keeps the Yasara away. Well, I don't know right now. He's got that level two. Hits it immediately after that knockdown. Push, gets a counter hit. Maybe caught him, trying to go for that throw. Still, it's out, he gets a follow-up. Eagle Spike, bro, the damage that's still coming through is not too bad. Now he makes her pick up. That was a pretty Ooh, fucking hit combo, man. Dang, that's a lot of hits. In tournament, he was ready for it. Nice the gap, OD flash kick. Some space, back him up. Knuckle Dude has a level three. And he has level two if need be, but I feel like level three might be a better answer. He usually likes to dump it out for that level three damage. We're now CA. Okay, there's a situation going for the drive rush here. Mid range, gonna back up and the slide underneath the Sonic Boom and going straight in to the meter here. JB getting himself on the board when it comes to rounds. Let's see if he get himself on the board when it comes to game. Gonna need one more round to do that. That's a hard read right there to get that slide applied right there. It's the Sonic Boom. One bad, like second, one second off, I should say, he would eat up into the face. Be down to spin on that flash game. Full screen now. What a challenge on the overhead. He said, no, you ain't busting my dome. You're not kissing in my stadium. Back off. Sonic Stepper, almost in burnout. 
Knuckle Doo with a fairly big lead. Oh, oh, he's he's here. Yeah, Rush Fierce might have worked, but maybe not. Okay, and this is the situation JB needed, and just because of that, really gonna give Knuckle Doo some time here in the corner, which is exactly okay. Is this gonna set? Oh, no. come out! Nine frame startup, so you can't do it like that when OD is out. He saw the boom, but the jump in is not the nine. The jump heavy kick is applied. That crouch fears did not work out. I think flash kick may have been better, but crouch fears not working out. I'm, it's rare that I get to see that button not work out. That's wow. rare. Maybe a little too early. I'm not too sure, but man, we, we usually see when it comes to anti airs, Knuckle do very clean with it. But JB was able to just squeeze out that final round to get the game to win there. I wonder if we're switching to Cami. Is that what's going on? Is he switching over? I didn't get the C. Hmm. This thing is hiding it. But he does have the Cami. I think Cami is not that bad against Rashid. I think Rashid could fight Cami, but if she takes to the air, it's going to be difficult. He's forced to back up to do heavy mixer for the anti airs. But like mid to close range, dive kicks are continuous. That's going to be the Guile still. Okay, okay, okay. He just had to take a second. He's like, all right, all right. Because everybody has a has their own playstyle. If you know, you know. But on Doom Stream, when he gets frustrated, he said, everybody has their own playstyle. <laughs> to, to ward off the salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the go to line. The yeah. anti salt line. He's like, yeah, everybody has their own playstyle. Hold up. All right, goes into burnout, but uh, he has a lead. Finds a jump Ooh. in to get the win. There we go. Yeah, commit to that OD fireball. That's why he would fall. Okay, Knuckles are getting a little offensive too, getting a little feisty with these jump ins. Holy. Dang, God went flying. <laughs> the area goes away. Yeah, dang. Sonic moves, OD gets the knockdown again. Dancing with the Bazooka Knee as well. Okay, Ooh. maybe kind of playing a little farther back here, willing to play the fireball game, which is not an approach we saw in the first couple games here. I like the adaptation coming off from JD. Even more so the fact that he bit off that flash kick, stood in the range where it was going to whiff. Nice little sharp angle. Gisara's out. Oh, oh, shimmy. No bite. Walks it low. Dropping first to the back of him up. He's in burnout. This is bad. If you're caught up in the corner against Lexi JP, he's going to take advantage of that, of course. Trying to get the grab there. Not going to connect. Oh, side switching into the corner. Knuckle Doo still in burnout. Gets the anti-air trade, but like you said, uh, these jump outs are going to be so strong and into the level three. JD was so close to getting that second round, but Knuckle Doo going to close out that game three. Clutch, clutch, clutch. I believe the last time they played in TNS, I think it was JD taking the victory. But now things look different as Knuckle Doo. Got to take a second. To figure out what to do with this JB. Only Sonic Blues and Bazooka Knees. Better anti air too as well. Cashing out these level threes. JB finding ways to navigate. It's been difficult to try to navigate these booms. It's so much easier when you have that level two, right? It, it just feels like you're playing a whole different game against JB once that level two comes out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's necessary for this character overall. I mean, one of his strongest tools. It's right, the right. great closer, but. If it doesn't get built up because you're not doing any damage, might be looking bad. Nice perfect parry. Look for a setup right here. Knockdown. Yeah. And the corner's A okay. Gonna get the shimmy there. Just out of range. We're gonna convert into the level one here. The side switch, yep, into the drive rush grab. OD. OD here for JP to get in. He's so. Up in the corner still. Sonic Booms, OD out again. Crazy. Finds a cap, finds a counter hit. Yeah, now level two is gonna spend the win, bro. Looking for this chip mill dip right now. Right now. Send it to him. There you go. Express. <laughs> oh man, imagine if you couldn't kick it towards the opponent. That'd be not that would be such a uh, not as good as you, but great oh, stuff no. coming off of JB. <laughs> That's why it's a win. I love it for that. He needs it. JB on the bar now in terms of drive gauge. It's like down kick. We're trying to chip away. Air throw. Trying to get that jump back. Medium didn't work. Back throw here. 
We've seen so many players know that it's going to be an option for JB, but JB just seems to beat everyone's hitboxes out. It's kind of crazy. Same time, Knuckles is staying fine, challenging these overheads. They're not at the right ranges. It's put, that's what do on set point. By the way, this is Rasheed's team, Jack. You didn't know. It goes hard. Yes. Okay, but here, another thing that goes hard is that level two here. See, he's going to back up. He's going to get the kick. There's the drive parry. Great stuff coming out from Knuckle Doom. That's Still a big win. Three. When that doesn't equate to anything, that level two is equating to anything, that's a huge win. A little bit of the level two. There's the anti-air. Not a good amount of that. A lot of drive gauge on the side of Knuckle Doom, but JB... Slowly gaining it back here. Tries to go for the driver. Barely whipping. Coming on the forward heavy kick. The turn with the crouch heavy kick. Finds the anti right there. That crouch is finally working out a little bit better as the set is going on. Oh. Quick catch a button with that same heavy kick. No punish counter. I love the neutral jump coming out from JB. The perfect parry. What's the punish? Oh, the corner carry all the way to the left with the dry brush. Oh, in to the grab, JB. And you got enough for the level two setup. You survived this year, God. Dry reversal at the right time. Heavy mixer. Oh, you so lucky that he was able to stay alive, stand fierce. Eagle spike. That's final game with JB and Knuckle Dew at the finish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Jack. Mm, this set is cooking. Game five is what we wanted to see. Perfect parry. Put him in the corner, yeah. With that evil spike, the fall, the Oki. Back heavy punch, fist to face to put him in his place. Back to mid screen we go. Oh yeah, the air there right there. Ooh. He fell on the side across. Oh my God, that was so godlike. Okay, nothing to do on the offense here, but maybe getting out of the corner with the jump, but jumping over. Fireball here for Knuckle Dew. How much of a health advantage? Oh man, there's not a lot of resources on the side of JB. The perfect parry must come out. He's got to do it to anti air. Frame kill gets the overhead. Hella meaty. No vegan. Dry brush deleted. Depleted. Oh, the flash kick. Knuckle do. On set point again. All right, let's see if JB can bring this to the final round here. Gonna get the perfect parry. Gonna set up the level two, of course. Oh. He's trying to walk up bro, did not work out. Drive reversal this time, he waits and baits. Punish, heavy one. JB got a lot of health to work with here. A lot of drive gauge as well. It's gonna be a nice conversion. Possibly guess for game and gets the jump over, able to spend the rest of the drive gauge. And we got the final game, final round here for loser Sammy. Exactly what we wanted. A lot of these throw baits have been fantastic. Quickly piece, yeah, puts JB up in the corner. He has to navigate the maze of music. Dry rush trying to find the anti right there. Was not meant to be that jump heavy kick. Blessing him. JP looking for the right time to operate with this level two. Yeah, now off the knockdown. Actually, he's going for that pressure. That's fine. Backed up for the perfect parry anti air. Yeah, and you talked about how Rashid players are using that perfect parry instead of going for the anti airs, right? Mm -hmm. Coming through here for JP. Yeah, no activation, level two. Plus frame and the baby boost to put him in burnout. This is a bear in a burnout. Not only is it Kyle, but it's also Knuckle Do. Four piece counter hit. Flash kick puts him in the corner. <gasps> Again, no one can no one can anti air that. For some reason, the level two is gonna get set up here. Knuckle Do has a lot of drive gauge to work with. Goes with the offense here. I like that. Oh, Dash up throw. <laughs> Punish counter as well. JP takes down Knuckle Do again. Yassar helps him go far. Yassar is the way to play, bro. We'll see what happens between these two, though. Crossover, JB, one. This is finals. Yeah, with how much Ken we saw at the beginning of the stream, not too many in top eight. Obviously, we have crossover, but I mean, we had quite a bit of character variety in this top eight, so this is quite determined to watch here. And as JB continues to go on this run with the Rashid, man, very exciting to see because I mean, just a, a character we don't see too often. Mm hmm. Drops overhead, finds the mark. Okay, Cyclone, and another overhead. These are meaty, bro. Oh my god! He hit him with the turkey, hit him with the beef, the chicken, the super machine kick. That's the beef. God damn. Anything you want. It's a buffet.
the back to back, the triple overhead. Oh my goodness. JB ain't messing around. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. Oh, what an answer. The crouching medium punch actually works here. Oh. The shimmy into the corner carry. Okay, we fighting back though. Crossover had enough. Yeah, he's had enough, and this dude definitely wants to fight Ramsey in Grand Finals. You're fighting a heated up crossover. Almost getting the shimmy there, going into burnout. And I mean, we've seen JB when you, when JB is starting the mix on a burnout opponent, it is not fun. JB, of course, here it is, the win condition. Zen win condition. <laughs> Oh, the drive impact, yeah. And he's lucky because crossover was only back. Still got hit with that drive impact. You could hit him with the super in between the gaps, but JP hides it so well. Level two is hell. Level two is hell. JP with the first victory. Yeah, and we've seen so many times where JP will use the level two just for the win buff, right? It's just so strong in itself. Sometimes the hitbox doesn't even need to come through for JB to continue the mix. Great stuff coming out from JB, securing that game one as we go into game number two here. Mm -hmm. It's a fireball. I, mean, I want to see more of these fireballs are neutral. It's not a bad option for the side of machine. You can fireball back sometimes with like OD if need be, even normal fireballs, but closer, the better. Say it heavy kick. Punish counter, Jin Rai follow up, DP ender, yes sir. Okay. Two. Oh, Ooh. went for the standing fierce here. Not going for three grabs in a row. Crossover, getting this round on the board. One of the best meaty buttons in the game, this man fierce is active for so long. You see that quite a bit from a lot of Ken players. Oh yeah, that, that move is meaty, got some range on it. The scaling's amazing. It's hitting every single check mark. Nice the gap. Oh, he, he, he backs up the PSR. Okay, yeah, push back. Oh, that dry gauge too. Okay, there's JV going with the. Oh, okay. Go Quake. With the twenty dollar match of Reno. Three. Should be able to actually get a slightly, but more importantly, the drive gauge. It's healthy with the crossover. Goes for the driver slight punch starter. Ends it with the DP. Throw slight punch again. Time goes for the target combo. OD fireball. JB finds his way outside the corner though. Looking pretty hard here for crossover. If JB's able to get this round, he's definitely going to have to level two for the next round. You really just want to close out this game two here. Just as I say it, not even gonna wait till the next round. I'm gonna use it immediately because you already know JB wants to get to that third round. Oh, of course. So you'll take that just that one single hit. Drive gauge, not that bad right now. Crossover. Try to give him too much. Odie fireball, too far for the crouching medium kick. The whip punish. He was aware right there with that stand. Fierce to clip that crouching medium kick. He's trying to strike back. Up a game and around is JP still. Ooh, another whip punish here. Punish counter coming through. JB looking really clean with getting the mix. There's the grab. Okay, caught him mashing. That's a side switch too. Super so good about being able to leave the corner. Doesn't matter. JB getting that knockdown in hands. Walk up for the stand medium punch. It's the face. I think it's a throw. I think it's a dash through. Either way, Super Rasheed kick is the play. That's two games, JB. Can anyone stop this man? Because JB is running through the bracket right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. And it's top two. I like that for that corner carry. But JB still finds his way out. Cross over not able to take the most. Some of these situations finds the OD. Catch up medium, light, the heavy kick. So I catch a button preemptively. Man, and look at how much ground you're covering. Even though you're blocking all of this pressure, you are getting carried all the way to the left side. Enough for the stun here. Gonna twirl it up, get this nice optimal conversion. Hey. Oh, it's still going in the mix off the low. Oh my God. Off the cyclone. Oh Lord. Oh, Jump. Man, oh no. Yo, crossover. Why aren't you blocking? Oh man, did you just give up? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No way, no way. You good crossover? You good? What's going on? Uh -oh. Why do you let go? 
JB got honor. Look over. at this honor. Shout out to JB, man. He's got on. Hmm. Nah, nah. I don't know what's. Did he? I don't know if the controller just maybe had a malfunction. Yeah, maybe a sick malfunction. No, I think he has technical issues. Because he likes a, a crossover. He is too much of a competitor to, you know, I don't think he'll be dropping this. Damn. It, kind of a anticlimactic end. JB moves on over crossover. I wonder. I just think it's probably a, a controller issue or something. Excited for this. Oh, man. Time. Yeah, and I mean, Rashid with some pretty stubby buttons. Like, Rashid obviously going to have, you know, fireball-esque tools to try and keep Zangief back, but Zangief also not having too much defense here. But we all we all know it could be a little dangerous to get close to the geef. Oh yeah, that's what he wants. Come closer, I dare you. These fireballs, electric lead coming through with the five. I see you. That's a cool icon too. Yeah. Come on guys, you guys oh, gotta give it up two. to this grands man. We got geef versus Rashid. I need to see some more explanation mark. Match arenos in the chat. Show some love to the players right now. Mm -hmm. I think you're ready for a long one too. So Ramsey, he's played Rashid on the side, by the way. He has some matchup knowledge on how to play this character. Let's see if it comes to fruition if uh, JB can show something different. Light punch opens him up for the drive rush. I get the full conversion. He's a burnout. But JB has a lot of space to play, so it's not super bad. Finds a super Rashid kip off the stand. Fierce, that's it. That has been the go-to for JB in a lot of these situations where you just need a tad bit more, maybe a quarter health here. Great stuff coming out from JB. Gonna get that first round. Yeah. He's been going for something that heals up damage. Usually you see people say that bar for like level two, but he's willing to get that kill. He knows that Ramsey's is a dangerous cat. Oh, already on empty. Oh, we're going both on empty here. Oh, let's go, Tong. $20 to the pot. I mean, what once Tong saw Geek versus Rashid, he had to give it up, man. He, he knows the yeah. YouTube, the YouTube views are going to pay that $20 back real quick. It's going to get nasty. So is this level two. Still a burnout, though. Yeah, JB played on the idea at the very tip of the drive impact. So the drive gauge can come back with the drive impact. Yeah, the OD follow up. It's a couple in the corner. This is so bad for the corners who put it previously. What can Keith do? Get back, though. That's what he can do. Oh, my. Okay, running some offense here. She looking a little low on the drive gauge, but also looking really low on this health bar. The level two should do the trick here as long as you got the convergence to back it up. Ramsey taking the round back. We're going back and forth here in Grand Finals. I like it back and forth. I saw someone say it's over, but hey, for who? Except Ramsey. Looks to throw those, stay in fierce. Even Spike up in the corner. Defense is going to be tested continuously because, again, not the most defense for this character in the business. No rebuttals or reverses in the early game. So. Heavy mixer catches him leaving. A little bit of extra damage. Punish. Oh, we forgot about that second hit. Yeah, maybe Rashid's anti-airs will actually work versus Zangief because the character's <laughs> so large. <laughs> so meta people. breaking news right now. Yeah. Oh, Man, we punished. Already in burnout. Oh, this, this is going to suck. Oh, getting over the OD spin right there. Got a headache. Oh, yeah, of course. Level one. Yeah, yeah. I guess the space is space. He's at a rock concert, bro. The head was bopping. Dropping so close. Ah, again, the super. I was going to say. Super Rashid kick. And now Ramsey's in burnout. A lot of things you could do here is JB. Mix it for days, but you want to get close to that. Level three is on the deck. No gaps. No gaps. Too far out for the SVD, unfortunately. JB finds a punish. He finds Dang, a game on the board. Your arms aren't that long, man. Yeah, surprising, right? <laughs> he will stand fierce as long as it is. But that was an interesting situation because usually we see JB use all the meter for the level two, but I love how Ramsey's kind of putting him in situations where he's got to use his meter defensively, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, put him on the back foot. With Rashid, I mean, it's all about killing that gauge. I mean, it is the Street Fighter Six overall, but this character is really good about, like, hiding that. Fireballs, you know, the mixer over and over again. Sometimes you're better off getting hit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, That's gonna be really corner. interesting when players really understand. It's like, ah, uh, you know what? It's, I'll just get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just take this. Oh, you don't want to take this impact, though. Say so heavy kick follow up. Yeah, double mixer. They try to get the shimmy here. Great defense coming out from Ramsey. Holding true. A little trading back and forth. JB got the health advantage, though. Oh, for the crouching medium kick, yeah, last button. 
Slot Ramsey has been walking for a little bit too often, standing up. Good way to put him down. Okay, Ramsey, and back up in the corner, fighting back though, swinging. Oh, the neutral jump. Not gonna get you anywhere away from Zangief though. Ramsey really closing in the gap. Okay, great whiff punish. The side switch too. Set up the level two as well. So good, yeah, that push out, that throw. Even working on the idea, go for an immediate instead. But simple block and parry. Drive reversal, but we're still back up in the corner. Empty, low blocks it out. Stay on counter hit. This a push back. Finds a side switch, and this is bad. You're too close. Oh, but JB said, I'm too solid. Crouching Muta kick side switch with the mix. I'm okay. Oh, you're not okay. SPD. Still in burnout here. Gonna use the drivers to get up close and personal. One more snatch to get the round here. Ramsey trying to stay alive, trying to get himself on the board. Needs one more round to tie it up 1 1. Ramsey. Yeah, he's getting so close to that empty jump. I thought it was going to be a level three. Drive reversal to put him in the corner. Yeah, I love the offensive use of that drive reversal, right? Eh. That just completely shreds you out if you don't go for that drive parry. And it's just so scary because, you know, JB could come up with the grab. Cross up, headbutt of all things. JB's going to get his bar back. Oh, but the anti didn't work. Oh, no. Key players were crying. No way that worked. Oh, you're too close. Is, is the CA going to be enough? No way, right? There's no way. CA no, 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 no. There's it's no not, way. It's it's not. Not. But it's close. It's so close. Look how close this is. Oh, no. no. Ah, Ramsey. <laughs> Waited and baited. Oh, My man, loyal fans. We saw so many neutral interactions there, and then Ramsey was like, these two interactions, though, I get your, like, entire health bar. Great mm -hmm. stuff coming out from Ramsey, man. That's all you're looking for. You're looking for command grabs with this character, bro. That's all you're, you're searching for is the grip to do it, right? You're looking for that damage access, level 3, SPD, or even CA. Great stuff, but we're tying things up. Not gonna lie, I mean, it would have been great if JV went up. 2-0, but you know what? For the storyline, I need to see the back and forth right now. Yeah, but I think Ramsey definitely doesn't want this to go any further. You know, these guesses might not work out as well for him as the set goes on. SPD, that damage is ridiculous. And again, up in the corner, drive rush. ODDP works out this time. The interruption, though. Dang. Fantastic stuff coming out for Ramsey. It's crazy because even though. JB gets the ODDP, it, like, it barely does any damage <laughs> to Red yeah. because it's all the, all the Zangief, man. Drive reversal to back him up a bit does not have to deal with that plus frame situation. No positivity right now. And it's so great, too, because you just get Drive Gauge from the Drive Parry off all of those hits, so you could use the Drive Gauge you get off that situation for you know, the Drive Parry. Yeah. Oh, the driver first. Oh, he okay. oh, so. though. Yeah, he actually went for it. He bet it all in the SPD to catch that, that Stamp Pierce. Okay, here's the offense, but the gap's coming through. Ramsey was like, I'm swinging. I don't care. Into the level two. Where are we going? We're going to the left. Mm -hmm. Side switch. Side to the left. Oh. Got him right where he wants him in the corner. We OD. Look for the air to air right there. It doesn't work. Another air to air doesn't work again. Yeah, maybe just thinking Larry, it's not going to cut it. So he tries to go for the air to air. Did not work out, but it's not a lot of health left. Oh, the weight, oh. the bait. Yeah, this is bad from the corner. Ashy as hell. Oh, he gets him out, but he still gets punished. You get out of the corner, but you have the conversions. Yes, you do. Just like that, JB, going to take the round. Dang, what a weird situation. Not going to get the snatch there. Yeah, came the game round to round right now. Real big. I think you're for Ramsey more than JB. If he can stop this momentum, it would be fantastic. But JB, it would equalize things. And again, we'd like to get that ESR to really put Ramsey on the back foot. He's made some good guesses, but you can't guess right every single time. And if this round goes far enough, JB will have access to the level two here towards the tail end. 
See if we can get some damage in. That would be a huge opening because we'll pretty much set up the level two on the next opening. He's going to get this conversion. It's still not enough. He needs one more here. Oh, that's right. Reversal here from the side of JP. He's almost a bro. It doesn't matter to him. He's going to bump that bar when he gets aggressive with the SR. So it makes sense. Great defense coming out from Ramsey. You take the grab there, which I mean, even these back-to-back -back grabs, just to get rid of the level two, completely fine. But oh man, we're starting to stack these grabs up. Three in a row might might not be okay to take. No, 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 no. After a while, damage adds up, racks up, taxation. Okay, drive rushing in. Level two, spin cycle. Watch this asshole. Bam. All in the low. Is this gonna be a winner side sweep from Ramsey? That was just crazy. Ramsey got one hit, immediately spent everything, and was able to finish off all with the low. Fantastic stuff here. Oh, and the drive impact punish counter straight into the command grab. Drive rush, perfect parry. Goes for the knockdown. I like this. With the pack dash into SVD. Damn. <laughs> this dude is insane. He just knows. When you're playing a grappler and you know you get rewarded. This man reads. That's right, chat. This man, he reads. He's a librarian, my friend. Yeah, flip with the pages. Make a JB look like a coloring book. I ain't from the front. Playing that mid-range. Great punish counter here. Gonna go for the corner carry. Running up on him. Oh, there's the perfect... Harry, but it doesn't matter. I got more hitboxes coming through. Your starter. Oh, he set off the low. Once again, that crouching light kick. Hiding it with that jump light punch after the cyclone. So hard to stop. Your mind is boggled at what's occurring. And it's hard to block everything. All takes one opening. Finish the job. JB not doing it. Staving off that set point, that set tournament point. JB now putting Ramsey in the level two simulation. Very tough scenario. If we get this corner pressure here, are you gonna be able to go for a side switch? Yes. Great conversion here. OD was fantastic. A lot of space to play with. He's got that bar all built up if need be. Backs up the anti right there. Heavy mixer. Impact. We parry. We get the SVD. Ain't no shot. There's, There's so much we have to do. Drive gauge. Maybe Ramsey can work. Oh, what a level three. Oh. Drive rush, level three, CA. See you next round. Hold oh. this. Look. <laughs> My loyal fans, he is on set point. He is on tournament point. A Ramsey from Winterside with the game. Oh, man. So JB going to have the two bars available. So we'll see when the level two comes out, but let me tell you, it is coming out. I'm gonna get the corner carry here, gets the grab. He's gonna set it up now. Yes, sir. Here is the level two simulation. Ramsey's so low. Yeah, the drive reversal to back him up. It's a lot of meters spent though. JB can really run this offense now. Yeah, those oh. gaps. Again, he's played this character, he understands. Easy I need the right anti -air. Even with the level two, Ramsey is playing this round phenomenal right now. Great punish counter. Okay, you are burnt out. This is the time. JB can really take advantage of this scenario here. He's got to go on the offense. Don't get crypto. Don't get crypto. You know what he wants. I said to rush him with the jab. He's in burnout. He has a health lead. And he oh, the almost got the whip. He tried to run it raw. Oh, no. <laughs> He really tried to test it there. Okay, there's the quarter carry. Shouldn't be enough unless. Oh, wait, the level one! He's still alive! He's a chunky boy, but the meaty jab will get the kill. We will move on to either the finale, the end, or a reset. The side of JB. Optimization from this cat has been ridiculous. Of course, of course, we have to go into a game five, and I'm definitely not complaining. If if we get a game 10, you know, I mean, I, I'm just shooting it out there. I would like to see it. Game 10, but we'll see if Ramsey closed this one out. He is on the winner's side. So if he wins this set, it's going to be all over. But JB still has to put Ramsey into the loser's side. He's going to have to win two sets back to back here. And the snatch. 
Ooh, let's go, Tom. Dropping off the 808. I see you. Stamp ears. Yeah, chipping away at that drive gauge and that health. There's the Empire with the crouching medium punch right there. Jail No Bell has been looking real bad here for Ramsey. And even more so with that Yasar out. Can't leave the corner. What? Where'd it go? What? Wait, what? Why'd you get it away? What? Are you good? He said bye bye. <laughs> Very susceptible to chip. Yo, someone clip that. It's one eagle spike, that's all he needs. And then I'll drop him down to the ground. JP about to reset the bracket. Oh man, okay. Immediately spending the two bars, even though Ramsey was pretty low there, really wanted to secure that first round. If Ramsey was able to squeeze that round win after JB was using two bars, that would have been devastating. Okay, jump on the reaction, getting the punish here. Ooh, okay, JB really cooking up on this final game here. Already has this first round. It's a follow up, yeah, heavy mixer. Corner pressure tested. JP with the switch ups, a lot more throws now. Oh, oh, here we go off that low starter. Level two. Yeah, yeah. On to the left. It's right in the corner. Yeah. Switch it up, trading places and spaces. Yeah, put him in the corner. No one has been able to punish that throughout this it's whole just third of it. Insane. It unfortunate as JP resets the bracket. We're going to a grand finals reset, chat. We're at the end, chat. Do you think it's possible that we get the Honda? We haven't seen a Honda all night, by the way. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I think Ramsey will see this with the Geef. He's a stubborn kind of guy. Bad matchup for good. We've seen him run it raw with this Geef. I think he's going to run it all the way with this character, no matter what. The tried and true. Mm -hmm. hey, oh. Spending a lot of meter here, going into burnout to run this offense. It's absolutely worth it, though. Look at how low Ramsey is, but if Ramsey is able to get some kind of offense going, Geek doesn't get too far with that drive rush. JB has a lot of room to work with back up and really punish that lack of mobility from Zangief. So even in the burnout, had a lot of time and space to really wait out that burnout time. Yeah, he had a really good mix up in the corner too as well. I don't know if that was meaty. I'm not sure, but I'm sure this JB has that level two. Great to unleash. Yeah, push to the corner. Ramsey might not go for drive reversal because you know he doesn't have a lot of gauge to play with and rather not be in burnout. So we up in the corner, but drive impact lands no matter what. What's oh, an optimal pickup right here? The spike, heavy mixer, yeah. Damn, that was damaging. Yeah, and Ramsey could be going into burnout fairly soon. There it is into the grab. JB still has a bit of drive gauge and it is going back up here. This is a huge advantage for JB. And the level two is coming up as well. If he really wants to seal the deal, he's gonna save it though, and he gets the round anyway. Listen, a buddy like me would have been dangerous with this backed up for that level two, but you know what to do. Sweet trade, A-OK -okay here for JP. Takes the first game in the reset, way dominant in this corner, even more so. Neutral's even nastier, to be honest. I ain't for the front. The way that he's playing with these crouching meter kicks, Sam Pierce and the mixes up in the corner. He does get the knockdown, it has been leading to success. I don't know, man. Ramsey been on this left corner for quite some time. I, I think he might have to start paying some rent there, man. I'm telling you, bro. We've talked about it before. First of the month, utilities, water, electricity. I want everything. All well, the same thing, but still, I want double. Oh, no, this is trouble. Look at this pickup right here. Right? Punch right after. Fireballs and burnout. I mean, JB will essentially offensively use the drive gauge to obliterate Ramsey's drive gauge, right? As long as JB's swinging on that block, it don't matter. Looks like both drive gauges are about to come up right now. Setting up the level two, though. Going to give JB enough time, or you can just convert off the level two, get the corner carry. JB really going to bet it all. There's not a lot of health here. Any trade will do it. The counter hit, and that really hurts JB because when you burn that meter as Rashid, I mean, the level two scenario is so strong for you, so this is a really good position for Ramsey. There we go. Drive rush light into the SPD. Drive rush again, trying to get that sweep off the feet. Oh. Too far up the Sam medium punch, but still drive rush in again to get the knockdown. Whatever it takes. Ooh, there's the punish counter. Going to create some space. Going to go drive rush forward here. Double on top of that. The perfect carry. What's the punish? Into the corner you go. Like these. With the heavy mixer into the overhead right after. The smart stuff. Be careful now. He's got that bar at the bottom of that level three. Don't let him get too close. You'll break your heart, break your legs, your spine. 
JB wants that level 2 so bad. I mean, pretty close on the meter if he's able to get like maybe one or two more strings. But that's going to be it. Rams is going to close this game out. And we're going back and forth. Dang, we don't even get to go a direction. Man, this is just gone. No which way, bro. No which way. Ramsey fight back game to game right now in the Grand Finals reset. Some very ballsy wake up options from the side of Ramsey. When he knows it's on media enough, do enjoy that. Rotating the defensive options that, you know, are more innate that you don't have in terms of DPs and reversals, you see. All right, all right. Maybe I'm just hopeful, but I need to see game 10, final game, final round. Is that too much to ask for? Am I being a little greedy? Listen, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, Let's all right. go all we the way. Believe. We both believe. I know chat believes too, right? You, you believe, right, chat? We need your energy, chat. We need your energy. I want to see some games. You know what I'm saying? So games. All right, that light punch. Establish some neutral. Flip that headbutt for the plus race. Why is it staying fierce? No knockdown though, because it wasn't charged up. Okay. Gonna get a little bit of distance. Another one all the way to the left side. Ramsey in the corner, not a lot of health, but JB about to lose a bunch of health. The drivers forward get some distance here, but not gonna get too much out of the situation. Gonna go right into a neutral reset. And that, I mean, that's the lack of mobility. Oh, the whip, but no punish. Oh, right, getting the counter for it. The impact. You son of a gun, Siberian Express. Run for the OD right after the catch to drive impact. Looking for that light kick buffer to drive rush forward or clip a button. Which is that crouching medium kick that's been out for a little bit too much, but it still lands and JB still finds a way. Man, and both these players just playing the neutral so clean, especially towards the end there when it was final hit to come on through. JB using a lot of this drive gauge for the offense here, but getting it back. Oh, got the gap though. Setting up the two. The two. Is that how with the command grab and trying to get some sort of grip? Bet it, it had to now eat this damage and hold this corner pressure. Oh yeah, my bad. It's 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 uh running bear grab, not severe express. I mixed up with the other one, but still, this is dangerous. Up in the corner is likes of JB back in for the stamp ears. Okay, this this is gonna be really hard for Randy to stay alive, and that should do the trick. What oh does it does it spend the drive gauge? to extend the combo, but nonetheless, JB still closing out that game three up 2-1 versus Ramsey. All right, we need to send, Ram everyone in the chat, send Ramsey your energy because we want the game 10. One more game. Why was right chat? Okay, let's go. I'm learning the move names, let's go. Hey. That's the rush on the drive rush. JB with not a lot of bar, but has a little corner position. This is all he needs, but the stamp here's charge up, lays him down to the ground, no back throw, bro. Let's switch up the position in just yet. Okay. Gonna spend it. Gonna go into burnout for the defense, but burnout against Geef here, especially in this mid range. See if oh, and the chop drive impact, and we're tumbling. Oh, Siberian impact. Everything got Siberian by its name now. Siberian impact. Siberian SPD. It don't matter. Drive rush throw. Here we go though. Yasar once again to lock down the neutral overhead lands. The defense, it, I, I mean, taking that hit, not too bad in terms of the level two, especially when you get the reversal throw like that. Ramsey really knowing how to pick the poison in these situations, the punish counter, but of course, the defense, the reversal coming out from JB. Takes a throw, though. Back to neutral. He's so close. He wants that level three. He does the damage. <laughs> SVD, you are too close to me. Oh, you know what he wants? Catching that walk back. Come here, buffer stand fears. He's going on the bar for a super sheet kick. He will, and he will put himself on set point. What a clutch buffer with that stand fears though. Okay, if this round goes long enough, then JB will have access to another level two here, but Ramsey already has access to all three bars here. So the, the longer this round goes, the more advantage JB's got, especially if he's the one running offense and dealing the damage here. He's now, at this point, surely he'll have access to the level two, no matter what, even if he takes the damage. Oh, great bait here. Punish counter to kill the drive gauge too as well. Drive by Sharon. Yeah, there we go. Let's begin level three. Huge lead. Keeps the bar nice and low. Nice and ashy. Yeah, my loyal fans, as this lands. Ramsey's in again. Try push low in the back, throw normal throw actually, Ramsey! Cracks the spine.
and give us the final game. What we wanted, people. So I got one more in me. One more in me. Come on. We are delivering here at TNS, especially Ramsey and JP. We got a game 10 grand finals. Oh my goodness. Look at that coming through with the sub. I see you. Overhead also coming through from the side of JP. That pick up with the heavy mixer. You're saucing him up. Damn. Ramsey had a loss of what to do. Defense Thanks. is getting blessed. All right, all right. He, he was like, you know what? You want to come through? You want to drive rush into the level three? That's the go-to. Well, I'm going to fight back with the perfect KO. And that was no level two required here. Going to go with the level one to finish things off. Oh, hugging the air, though. Be a big oh, here for JB. Oh, getting the crush on the wall as well. You make sir for the bomb. West core with the sub. I see you. Thank you for the love. With the throw. The grabbing your demon is nothing but air is right there. And JB is nothing but dangerous back throw. Hold up. Ramsey has him in the corner. He's buffering that crouching medium kick to no avail. Finds a stand fierce a fist to face to put him in his place. Super machine kick will seal the deal. And it's 69. JP stays fine. Nice. And that was nice play as he is your tournament winner. But oh man. Oh my goodness.